everybody, vampires around the world. I am here with Lucy Morningstar, Bear Me, and Try Hard Scorpio. This is the pre-game show about to dive into a $500 Merciless Duos Cash Cup for V Rising. Wow, you sound so official. Feeling good. I like it. I'm pumped. I just went to the gym. <laughs> I was watching a content creator boxing match, you know, to get me uh, get me hyped. Mm. <laughs> Your pregame is very different from my pregame. I slept <laughs> until about 30 minutes ago. So you're going to be alert. And I paced around the house trying to find pants. So I don't that know. Really gets yeah, I don't know if you need pants for streaming, though. <laughs> well, technically you don't. Technically, but with how often I leave stream on after I raid somebody, I, I probably should. <laughs> I forget to click in stream. Dangerous. All right, so diving into this, we had 30 teams register, which puts us at 60 participants. And I have to say that a lot of the time we see a lot of names and clans kind of pop up throughout the tournament that don't register until the last minute when they actually think they're going to win. But in our favor today, we've got Lucy Morningstar here with us, who is one of the top duelists in V Rising. Her name is known from RP servers to tournaments around the world, and her partner today is the past $200 tournament champion, Nero. So, Lucy, what are we thinking? Did you guys go over routes? Or are you just uh, going to improv? So, he kind of sat me down and gave me, like, an hour-long lecture earlier with the map open, and, like, we mapped it out and everything else. It was kind of cool. All right. So, you would like to share what that route's going to be with, uh, with the audience? Uh, yeah, sure. So we're going to go straight to uh, Dunley Monastery and get enough grave dust for a grave ring. Hmm. And that's bullshit, and we're not actually going to do that. But uh, we'll see. I don't know. Try hard? What are you thinking? Hmm? What am I thinking? <laughs> yeah, What did you and your duo sit down? Did you guys plan these routes out? We sat down for 10 minutes before you called. <laughs> that was it. 10 whole minutes. It was a good time. Oh. We had... We had really, it's our first time ever being in a Discord call together. We never do it with each other. Um, it's, uh, it's real solid. All honestly. right. Yeah. Really, really rooting for it. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm pulling said, hey, for you. Going into this I'm expecting stupid. to win. And he said, yes. And I said, hmm. And I that was as far as it went. I mean, at least he's expecting to win. I've personally never held a shard in my hands. Although one time I did claim it and then I left and it dropped on the ground, but I thought it went straight in my inventory. So <laughs> I, I almost had it. The soul of Solaris was right there. Mm. And uh, I know, bear me, you're going to be joining us with a couple of the devs. You guys actually want to participate in this, uh, this big tournament. Uh, they're all asleep, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it is they're... midnight in Sweden. They're sleepy. They use they're all their like energy me. during the day. So I've got a couple questions for you, to be honest. So the last one, obviously, a bit of a joke. Although my partner is from EU, I don't know what he's thinking, but he thinks staying up till 6 a.m. is the play. So we're going to have a little bit of lag, a little bit of disconnect, but I think it's going to be a part of the madness and stupidity that comes naturally with all Eclipse tournaments, a little bit of scuff. But I wanted to ask you about the fall update, and if you would be so kind as to maybe just share some generalities with us or, you know, a little... A little bit of this and a, like a little bit of that. Uh, well, uh, in terms of like what's going on uh, coming up for the fall, uh, we've talked a little bit about it, you know, here and there. Uh, there isn't a lot, uh, there isn't really a place where we've like compiled all the information for the C, so not everyone is super aware, but, uh, you know, we're working on uh, weapons and more content for V-Bloods. Uh, we're, look, we're looking at a lot of systems that we've been uh, sort of getting a lot of feedback about. Uh, and seeing what we can do to change them, to make them better, to overhaul them, to, to make them more elegant solutions to some of the issues that we've seen popping up. Uh, that might not come in the fall update. It might come uh, beyond that, depending on, you know, you know, it's ready when it's ready. But uh, we are, yeah, uh, like one thing that a lot of people have asked for, a really highly demanded weapon, uh, the greatsword, is something that uh, we're working on. I'm not sure if it's going to be in the fall update, but it, it's something that is a long enough that I think, you know, it's possible. It's very possible. 
I like it. Are there any plans to allow us to purchase mount skins? I personally play Albion online, and I feel like a huge draw is being able to buy kind of individual mount skins or um, killing someone, and then you actually get their mount skin, you know, even if you don't own it. So I was wondering if there was any thoughts, maybe to add like a slot in the mount where you could craft and then place a skin in there, or maybe you could uh, uh, craft a mount by having the horse nearby, anything of I that nature. Be, I think that'd be super cool. And there's like a lot of uh, things about mounts, that I think uh, horses in general, that I think uh, we could improve upon a lot. And uh, one thing that's definitely very popular among us is, is we think, uh, you know, diff different ways to customize your mount, different ways to like make it look different would be really cool. I don't know if that's going to come in the form of like purch purchasable skins or there will be more different ways to acquire them available or if there will be something like uh, you feed grave dust to your horse and it becomes a skeletal horse, you know? There's like lots of different ways to approach this uh, and, and we're definitely, it's something we're definitely thinking about. I'm personally looking forward to when Beatrice's uh, true power is shown in an update. <laughs> Yeah, when uh, when Zombie Beatrice comes back and just slaughters you as a level like ninety five. I don't care if it's an uh, April Fool's event. I want Beatrice to <laughs> pop off. Uh, or every be... monster in the game becomes Beatrice. I will definitely be bringing that uh, into. Uh, I will definitely be bringing that. Into, <laughs> see what I can do. <laughs> All you right. Are to in my final form. So I wanted to go over a couple of the rules because we're doing things very differently today. It's probably the most competitive tournament we've ever had to date. And so some of the rules I just recently, this will be the first time we've actually used them. And I've kind of taken this from other content creator events that we've been seeing in the past couple weeks. And the main one I think is going to be the no PVP protection. So the minute you spawn, you are open to be killed. You can kill other players. Also, because we have four ultimates unlocked the second you spawn into the game, it's kind of going to be whoever is the fastest at finding their duo partner and then equipping ults. And actually, what me and my partner want to do, we actually sat down and talked about routes and kind of got technical with it because I've got a lot of weaknesses. So my partner has to have a lot of strengths. And so one of the things that I had to convince my partner of was joining me in this quest to do ape-like behavior. And so one of them is going to be, and I've talked uh, to Tryhard and Lucy about this, you know, Lucy's got routes, her and Nero are gonna be off, they're gonna be into the cursed forest within two or three hours, just diving in. And me and my partner are thinking about staying in the tutorial for 20 or 30 minutes and just killing people as level 10s. So we're gonna get that bone <laughs> armor. We're gonna be setting them back because a lot of people don't know this because you would have to play in a server without PVP protection. But if you die in the tutorial, it puts you back into the coffin as though you just joined the game for the first time. And one of the server rules is also 1.5X respawn time. So the second time you die, you're gonna be looking at a five to six minute before you can rejoin the game. Essentially, you're just gonna be you know, laying there dead. And then you're also going to be put back into the tutorial coffin. So we're kind of looking to mix things up and just zero out teams early and often. And then probably we will be running into Lucy's team at the monastery because we're going to be farming Scourge Stones and going for those day one sieges. We do have three times loot and three times harvest rate. So people are going to be moving very fast this tournament. We wanted to make it so you had to play less to get further. You have one guess as to where my base is going to be to key it. Where is it, Strange? Oh, uh, top left, Dunley, for sure. Uh-oh. Right where the Curse Forest spills out. But another interesting rule set that we have for the Eclipse tournaments is there are no keys required. So it is free to key hearts as long as you can get to the heart. So what we've seen in the past is people horse jumping into each other's bases. We've got a lot of base blocking. And then just those early bomb or golem sieges are going to basically allow you to get in there and zero out an entire team, setting them all the way back. So I think for today, my team is going to be looking just to zero the competition and level the playing field. You heard the good things he said about you, Lucy. Did. I did. You know... Nero always puts his base in the same spot as well, and that's what's fun about playing in these tournaments is because you kind of get used to seeing these players almost like a battle royale, right? If you really wanted to eliminate a certain team, you would just watch where they practice and what they do, and then you try to drop in where they drop. And in this case, I know you guys like to have your base in Farbane, 
So a couple of golems might come knocking today. And now you guys need to all say where uh, Sobat always puts his base. Because so far he's put both of you on blast. He's like shared your strats with the world. You guys need to now uh, put him on blast. And uh... no, I mean, no, do you pay attention to the extras in TV? <laughs> Here, no, here's what he's gonna do. He's gonna go over there. He's gonna try to go on. Lucy's gonna whoop up, and then it becomes my problem because now Lucy has golems and she knows where I'm gonna base up. <laughs> I could be wrong. I could be mixing Lucy up with someone else, but I feel like I've seen uh, some popular two v one clips of Lucy just like dunking on people. Ah, uh, there's a few of those. <laughs> there's a few. So I'm looking forward to seeing that happening today. I know, so, I'm really excited. I am spinning up a server uh, with the admin group as well in the background here, but I'm definitely excited for a lot of the ideas you've brought to the table, especially things like the Greatsword. I just think mixing up the meta is a really good idea and having another weapon at your disposal. Oh, uh, speaking of weapons, let me tangent really fast. So Lucy, I know you like to carry around a lot of weapons. Does playing on a merciless full loot server affect that or will you still be trying to bring out the entire arsenal? <laughs> I mean, I try to bring that out a little bit later because at the end of the day, if I had a weapon that would have made me win a fight and I didn't have that, and now I've lost the fight, it's just like protecting my assets, really. So. Hmm. But Sorry. you have to have enough resources to do that, right? So. Yeah, that's always the challenge of full loot. And I, I try to represent this a lot in my stream is that kind of hardcore full loot mentality where you kind of just roll you know you like shrug your shoulders when you lose say gg to the person that beat you because they're hustling as well right everyone's always giving it their all in a merciless setting and then mm -hmm. when they do bring the five weapons it's it's challenging when you loot them to be like wow why did they bring so much but at the same time you always want to bring what you need to win and so it's kind of a challenge sometimes to figure out how many resources to bring out, not just weapons, also healing potions, salves, you know, rage potions, wranglers, pots, all of these things we see in the competitive level a lot where everyone's just trying to get that little bit of an edge. Because a lot of times when you're fighting these great players, you end up with only five or 10% HP at the end. You know, we've had so many close fights where you would feel like you would have won, you know, if you just had, you know, a spear or you just had a, a healing potion. Another fun trick, I guess, is maybe craft the weapons that people don't carry around. Like, I'm a big mace fangirl, right? And I don't see very many people craft the mace, but I know that if I kill somebody, I'm going to pick up axes every time. So that's another easy way to amass your wealth. Just don't even bother going for the axes. Count on that you're going to loot some. Exactly. I love that confidence. Makes a lot of sense too, especially as the meta has been evolving. Axes have become a little bit less relevant with some of the top players. I feel like with my mind. Slasher spear. Oh, slasher spear is so good. Mm -hmm. But I mean, if you get the axe in cap, it's going to do a lot more damage than the slasher in cap. So it's it's curious to see what people use and at what ranges. But mm -hmm. I know you've been changing your mind a lot, Scorpio. What do you think the kind of meta weapons are right now? If you had to choose two, what would you take out? Oh, the bread and butter for sure is um, Slasher Spear, 100%. Slasher is just really good overall. The, uh, the Thousand Spear, the Slasher Q, or sorry, the Thousand Spear, Spear Q, it, um, you know, it has that CC effect where they can't break out of it. It's a very good ability. Even whenever... You haven't gotten a CC. If a player dashes up to you, it's very easy oftentimes to catch them off guard with just a spear volley because they're always waiting for the end cap and trying to avoid that, and they don't expect it to come out. Slasher is just amazing with its utility. It has the slow. It has the iframes. It has a very long end cap increase movement speed, the stealth to help get out of fights. Those are absolutely the two like best overall weapons that fit with almost all build types out there. Yep. I agree 100%. Also, I would always suggest slashers for newer players because it's just that weapon that might help you escape. Madness. And like I would say, when you escape the fight, you win the fight, right? If you're not dead, especially on full loot, if you're not put all the way back at your spawn, now you have to recraft all the weapons, the accessories, the potions, etc. It's still a win. 
And a lot of times when you have loot, the other players are going to push you because they're fresh from their base, right? So they're just going to charge, they're going to be aggressive, and Slashers allows you to get that distance and then kind of just kite. You can use a lot of guerrilla tactics in this game, um, but recently I've seen coming to the forefront is Rogue Blood. 100% Rogue Blood absolutely seems to be the meta all the way across the board. Everyone's using it for the extra space bar, the movement speed, the, you know, especially with the Clive space bar, you now have Madness. two automatic crits. And, stupidity. and so what do we all think Madness. about that? Is Rogue Madness Blood just the way stupidity. of the world now, or are the other bloods still useful? Well. Uh, <laughs> we already did about this speak. yesterday. Yeah, we, we actually did, and I've come over to Lucy's side on this. Um, <clears throat> open world Rogue Blood absolutely has the movement it needs to do whatever it wants. It can leave fights, it can poke in fights, but at the end of the day, uh, a rogue blood's generally not going to kill a warrior blood unless the warrior makes mistakes. And even though the warrior doesn't have the movement speed, the warrior doesn't have to commit to fighting the rogue. The warrior can honestly just go about its business and continue farming, going into houses. And if the rogue commits to fighting the warrior in an enclosed space, the rogue's going to lose any trade. Um, so honestly, the best bang for your buck in terms of combat, it's really going to come down to warrior. But if you're looking to play it more safe and go on farm runs and have like the choice being a, of being able to like feel up your opponent and decide if you want to fight them, it's going to be rogue blood. But honestly, rogue loses to warrior pretty much every time. I like that. See, I don't duel that much, so I mostly commit my play to the role play servers or the open world aspect. And so I just, I'm usually frustrated when I run into a rogue because I can't escape, and even if I win, I can't chase. And so I've just kind of come around to that sort of epiphany that probably a lot of other players will start to experience, especially in a tournament setting where you really have to spend the time and effort to go get that 100% rogue. Lucy, like, what's, your, uh, what's your mental approach whenever you're fighting a 100% rogue while you have warrior blood? Oh, there they come again, and I guess I'll have to trade with them. Oh, yep, yeah, okay. I traded with them. Now they're running away. I, I guess I'll heal up. Oh, no, nope, there they go again, coming back. And it, it just repeats until they run out of healing or I run out of healing or they commit or play poorly. And they have to use more heals than you because you're taking that reduced damage. Oh, yeah. You'll win the attrition. Rogue is really nice. You can chase down a lot of kills and gear and loot for full loot. So I do like um, being able to hunt people easier. Honestly, in terms of tournament play, I'm generally running rogue blood, and I'm not worried about fighting as much as I'm worried about just getting as close to shards as possible. So I'm usually pulling out that rogue blood to farm the map as fast as possible and get to the shards before anybody else. And I'm not worried about warrior until I intend on fighting people. Yeah. Yeah, that is very interesting. I'm hoping that today, because of the 3x loot and harvest, it will allow more players to get the Eye of Twilight fast enough to contest the shards. Because the majority of Eclipse tournaments in the past, due to the nature of it being shard holders win the, the prize money, you usually have one team that can get all three shards without having them contested. And that's just obviously from playing better, from knowing their route really well, and just having the capability to do so, although we've seen some rat plays I know last tournament, Nero managed to grab all three shards in the solo tournament before I could get my Eye of Twilight, and I was playing pretty good that time. I, I felt like I had won about 60 fights, I'd only lost two or three, and then when I finally got it and all three shards were in his base, I was just kind of like, ah, oh, man, like I played so well. <laughs> Not quite enough, but this time I, I think I feel a lot better about it. I actually sat down with my partner today for two hours and we ran the route. Um, it's you know it's always challenging to tell how it's going to work out because there's no PvP and the chaos at Alpha Wolf, the chaos at Keeley, and now without madness. PvP protection, madness you know the stupid. madness of the tutorial is going to put our route on hold. But I'm curious to see what people do. I think because of 3x, you can basically leave the tutorial straight away. You know those bones yeah, are going to be easy to come by. The hide. It's also worth mentioning that in your rule sets that it does skip many of the starting quests. So players are able to go out and base build pretty much immediately. Indeed. Thank you for pointing that out. Absolutely, oh, guys. Nice. We're going to be coming. The first quest that you'll have is the ability to craft your castle heart. So you can instantly get to level 10 in the tutorial without doing any of the quests, right? I'm talking bone sword, bone ring, and then your basic set of armor. And you're going to be somewhere upwards around, you know, 10 or 12 or 14. Um, I'm pretty sure it's 10. Correct, 
I can't I can't remember exactly, but that will give you a big leg up on the other players who are dying and respawning, right? Because they're going to be level zero with no sword. So they're going to have to kind of make their way through the tutorial and run into those gatekeepers. And with that being said, uh, for the early risers, which are the, the players who have won the past Eclipse tournaments, they are now authorized to join the server with the password up, and then we will admin pull them back so they can't leave the tutorial area or the, really that starting zone. And then we will relaunch the server with no password and everyone can join. So that is happening now if you're an early riser. And then we will see the rest of you in about five minutes for the official launch of the server. I know it's going to be crazy. I apologize in advance. We only have 50 or 55 slots right now. And a lot of times the server does fill up to the max the first hour or two. So if you don't have your duo partner, just play safe, play smart, get things set up and get that second set of gear ready. You know, huge moment of appreciation for Bear Me for <clears throat> allowing to support us because even strange, you know, you've put so much effort into this community, but uh, you're just a player just like the rest of us. And Stunlock is with Bear Me as the representative is going out of their way to interact directly with us, just regular gamers. And it's, uh, <laughs> you know, it helps. It really does. It helps a lot. Well, <clears throat> I'm not sure how I feel about putting that uh pedestal uh, put me on that pedestal but I, I do really appreciate all the work you guys have done working out these tournament uh concepts and running them and the amazing uh donations that you've gotten from people like to, to do this prize pool we didn't contribute at all to the monetary prize pool we're just you know helping you guys out with giveaways and stuff uh but uh yeah you guys deserve all the credit uh everything you guys have done here is super awesome super amazing I'm very uh I'm proud to be I think Strange is uh, <laughs> he's, handling he's some absorbed in administrative right duties. Now. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I, I created my character. Uh, we had one tournament <laughs> where the tournament actually filled up and I could not play. And so the, the whole first two hours, even mm. as an admin, it wouldn't let me in. It said no new vampires allowed. So now I do try to jump in with the, the early risers and the past winners, you know, a little administrative mm -hmm. privilege. I've never actually won a tournament, but, uh, you know, we're out here making some plays. As you said, I'm a player. And yeah, huge thank you to Jeremy and to Stunlock Studios for putting these on, doing the giveaways. Guys, today we are partially sponsored by SLS, as Jeremy mentioned. They are going to be giving out some codes in all three of our streams. So that's going to be um, listed in the Eclipse Discord as well. And so please jump around and give love to all your content creators and all your players. Uh, if I had to guess, I would say Lucy is going to be the POV of, you know, the winner, the top three kind of event. <laughs> Try Hard Scorpio is going to be out there, no delay, getting stream sniped, having a good time. And uh, I'm just going to be commentating and doing crazy, ridiculous things and trying to siege. So you've got three totally different player perspectives and all of us are going to be having a good time. And, you know, thank you all for joining us and for sharing in this. Thanks for having me. He is very sweet of you. Really going to enjoy working this. So before we go, uh, Jeremy, is there yeah. a time when you will join one of these tournaments? Oh, dude, definitely. Like, definitely. I have a, I'm not a good player. Uh, I'm not very good at the game. I rely mostly on, on the word of the people to figure out what's going on. Like, uh, it was really interesting hearing you guys talk about Rogue Blood because I've been hearing about Rogue Blood nonstop for the past, like, week or two. Uh, and uh, I'm really curious to see how it plays out in person. Uh, me, personally, I will join. I've always joined tournaments, even though I'm incredibly bad at every game I play. Uh, so in the future, I'm sure you guys will be able to enjoy the experience of just completely shredding me in, in actual Madness. Play. Madness and stupidity. You gotta find something to play with, too. Someone oh. equal <laughs> plug, but there is the Blood Feud server that you can go to to practice on. <laughs> I actually might. I've, I've been kind of getting the urge to lately. All right, and with that, I am going to back out and join my teammate. And I will see Lucy and Tryhard on the other side. Get ready to die in the tutorial. It's probably the only time I'm going to be killing you guys, but I'm coming. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> or on the dot, right? Four on the dot. So we are about four minutes away. 
I'm gonna get some tea set up and make sure everything goes right with the admin setting up and we're gonna have the eyes in the sky. So just to reiterate before we end here, um, no going against the, the Twitch terms of service, Unlock Studios terms of service, none of that stuff. I personally will not be playing with voice comms on, but for all the players that are watching right now and the people around the world, if you see anything or hear anything, please submit it in the Eclipse Discord to player reports and we will ban them, no questions asked. Well, I mean, we're going to review it to make sure, you know, that they should be banned. But, um, <laughs> yeah, we don't, uh, we don't put up with it. We're all just trying to have a good time. No toxicity, you know. Positivity, encouragement, and good gameplay. GG's in the chat for the wins and losses. And I will see you guys on the other side. Uh, see you there. Take care. Thank you, guys. Thank you all. Well, time to go meet up with my duo. Hope Before you arrive. Maybe Hope you there. Another another two <laughs> minutes of planning in <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah sitting Later, on the dude. beer sitting on the couch right, with the beer no pants planning Strange routes is gonna be we know killing people pants. in the tutorial so <laughs> we're gonna use that to our advantage what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in rat form we don't have rat form uh we're gonna summon angels we're just gonna summon tons of angels right off the start <laughs> oh they're God. strong and they've got the weakness buff or the debuff yeah. rather they're ready you we're gonna have frost vortex Madness. Arctic Madness, Leap, I'm Angel, and everyone's favorite, the Stone Golem that gives you a shield. No Heart Strike? No, no, because Wilfred is a, a progression boss, so we can't we can't have that off the rip. Ah, oh, you're right. Yeah. All right, fams. Peace Later. and love. Luck. Thank you Is all. Me and you bury me. Madness. Madness and stupidity. Madness. Madness wait, 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 and wait, wait, stupidity. Wait, 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 wait. One second. One second, guys. Sorry. All right, everyone, welcome to another stream and a YouTube marathon. This is going to be four to five hours of day one of the $500 Merciless Cash Cup. We're going to be diving in, hanging out, fighting players in the tutorial and living the dream. Hopefully our duo partner will be joining us here in the very near future. Unfortunately, right now he has not logged in. Uh, but he's not here at the moment, so uh, a little bit nervous about that. But uh, we should be able to pop off anyway. And we've got some crazy subs in the chat as well. Little gigs popping off with five gifted subs, including one to Nero, the local legend. And for subbing two months in a row, huge thank you from the future, little gigs. And Aka973, thank you for that sub as well. Welcome, everybody. I'm excited today. I've actually gone over the routes. My partner is way, way better at I am than organization, guys. Uh, he has said that he will be organizing all of... Oh, what's going on, One Brain Cell? I was just talking about you. All right, we are a go. All right, so the tournament has started. And as you can see, there is no PVP protection whatsoever. We've got the admins up and running, hanging out, living the dream here. We see people spawning in behind us and in front of us as always. Thankfully, because we have the three X loot and harvest. We don't have to worry so much about bones this tournament compared to tournaments in the past, but we are absolutely going to have to worry about players fighting each other. Here's Willy Wonka already, right? Level zero. We're going to try to get him with the shadow bolt. Not going to make that, but I do want to get my bone swords. We're going to kill these first couple mobs here, hopefully, and get some stuff done. You have a lot of players just instantly running past. There's 30 bones. I got to be careful about my health here. 
60 bones. That's going to be... I think we're going to go for the mace here and get our first chest guard. Remember that the, the quests are pre-arranged finished up until creating your castle. So we're going to have a lot of players who are able to just dive past the tutorial, right? You don't have to worry about those basic starting elements. You can just get out there and start crafting your base as soon as possible. Now, we do have a lot of players coming. Here's Flo. So we're going to go ahead and go for our first kill of this tournament. Beautiful counter there by Flo. Now, the main issue that I'm a little bit worried about here is just getting out ahead of the competition, right? You've probably already got people on their way to Alpha Wolf. You have people who are going to be going to Keeley straight away and then stopping to make the base. I was hoping to do a bit of gatekeeping here at the edge of the tutorial, but without my partner online, it's going to be very challenging um, to gatekeep as a solo. And you do have the majority of players just straight running away. They already understand the mission. Um, I'm going to try to get at least one kill here, but uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it anymore, to be honest. I wanted to set some players back, but I was hoping to come together with my duo in order to accomplish that. But uh, solo, it is going to be tough. You're going to have a lot of teams. You do have players out here already fighting, though. There's a three-way a three -way battle right here between Butter, Peanut, and Clap. Clap is getting ulted right here. This might be our first vampire death already. There is one frozen. Nice counter. It's not going to connect, but they missed anyway. Good counter from Peanut. This looks like our first duo. I've got to say, Peanut Butter sounds like a duo. Here comes my ult. We'll see how that goes. They both jumped out of it, though. That was a nice dodge from both these players. And we're on the way. All, all players are involved in a nice little battle. We've got to get our bone ring up and running as well. They're drinking things. They are making plays here. The first duo. I am, I've am. i got the plan, right? I've actually got it up on the second screen, guys. So we've got a 12-step plan today. We're going to be organized. We're going to try to be a bit less distracted and take PvP fights that are going to actually accomplish something. And my partner, as I was saying before I got distracted, is going to be organizing our base. So we do have a good partner here who's going to be filling in for my weaknesses. The strength and weakness of your duo team is going to be a big part of how this tournament plays out for you. And so today we have a person who's good at organizing and they're also really great at keeping on track, right? They're focused. We work together to develop essentially a 12 step plan to get as far ahead as we could in four hours and also be ready for some sieges. When are you here? So this big first play, because 3x loot, that means it's going to be very, very easy for us to get down Hello? a base. Oh, hey, sorry. hey, what's I, going on, my man? Mic was muted. That's all right. I just wanted to make sure you're okay with me hot micing. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. Um, yeah, I'm inside. I was trying to talk off the... Yeah, I didn't realize I was muted. No, it's... no. I was trying, <laughs> I was trying to, to tell you, but uh, that's all right. I left the tutorial, man. I'm already an alpha wolf. I just went for it, to be honest. There were so many players running around that I decided just to leave. Yeah, 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 fair enough. Also, a lot, of, a lot of players madness, just straight left the stupid. tutorial. Like, they didn't even try. Yeah, I'm not surprised they were wants to get that progression play in. I'm all right, I'm on Alpha Wolf right now off the Eastern Road. I am just about to get there. Is it down already? Oh, the Arctic Leap! No! No, it's up still, it's up still. We're all PvPing. A lot of players are here, including at least one duo. I'm gonna run away and heal real quick. Uh, are you one brain cell? Yeah, yeah. All right, let's get this going. All right, so there's one duo on me. And Alpha Wolf's up here. Alpha Wolf's low. Oh, I actually need those bones. I hear Score Swine as well. This would be huge. Uh, let's kite up to the left so we're not between teams. I'm going to heal again. This guy in chat said they're trying to kill me for my five bones. 
<laughs> they want the loot. Everyone wants the loot. Oh, this is bad with the with the sun here. Oh, I just took a lot of damage. All right, um, let's go uh, right here, right here, the wolf. Uh, let's go southeast to where Alpha Wolf normally is. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the sun, the sun. Yeah, yeah, I got I got to heal full. I think we should try to kill uh, Gorswine here. Cheeks on me at half. All right, I'm I'm pressuring Cheeks real quick. Yeah, coming. Got him a few sense. times. His teammates here. One's already low. He's at half. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna come back toward you. Um. Did, was another team fighting Gorswine? No, no. The, everyone just abandoned it. Hmm. I don't know. It's a school. What do you think? It would take way too much time. All right. Should we just go put base down, or go for yeah, Kiri? Yeah. No, go for base. All right. Base and the, copper. Base and plans. copper. I got yeah. the plan, and I already want to deviate from it, and I, I want to get PvP at Keeley. I am playing not to win, but all right. You're keeping me on track. I was just telling them about that. All right, this is perfect. All right, so I'm heading north for base. Let's play smart. I'm just sad. This is like the longest I've gone without uh, without a kill. I normally am, have fought players by now, or you know something crazy is going on. I'm following the pack, but I like it. Also, there was an oh, alpha really? wolf on the west side uh, right where right where you said it would be. So had we not got that first one, we would have one available could, to us. Yeah. Wow, they already have a base right here. That is impressive. Dang, that is a very fast base. Where? Uh, right up there at the top of the hill. I wonder if we could... I don't think so. It looked like they blocked both sides, but if we could horse jump, that'd be huge. We, we can horse jump it. They only covered the front entrance, so <laughs> we know where to go first. Yeah. All right, let's roll to the base. All right, everyone. So our plan of attack was to get Alpha Wolf and then put down a base next to Beatrice. So we're on the way up there, and the thought process behind this is that a lot of players are going to be trying to get Beatrice for early progression once they down Quincy. Or they're going to be trying to get Cotton and Iron prior to getting Quincy. That way they get both those things cooking. And so being close to Beatrice... Oh, wait, this just ran out here. Someone's down here to the left, I think. Yeah. This would be actually big. If we got to kill this early, we would get all their... Oh, they're like chests, but I don't see anybody. Um, but so I'm gonna keep. Uh, I'm gonna keep going. Oh, uh, th there is a player up here. Pitiflon level ten. He's at half already. I'm pressuring. Good, good, good. Gonna go into wolf form and chase. Ah, uh, he's arctic leaping. I'm putting a, a frost vortex down. I, I missed. I, I double missed here, but I think the duo is gonna bring this guy down. Got him, he slowed. I oh, try and jump. Oof! That nice. flick! The flick at the wrist! Watch out, there's a trend. Oh, I didn't even see that. <laughs> I every time I go to type in chat I end up dying, but alright guys, so we're heading up to Beatrice. Um, so that player really didn't have that much, if I'm being perfectly honest. Um, I don't think they even got very many chests. But I'm going to go ahead and grab all these blood roses. That way we can get the rings going. You should uh, heal up. Yeah, I, I was just about okay, to say juicy. that. You should heal too. Uh, let me get some salves going for us. So I can, uh, I can make six already. We've got some blood essence as well for the hearts. Alright, we're in a good spot. But... Going back to what I was saying, we're doing Beatrice because the bell ringer within Beatrice is... Oh, here's a vampire coming right at us, Cheeks. He's trying oh, to go wolf. Nice. Oh, he's so... Got low. him out of it. Nice counter. I should have stopped that. No, that should have stopped it, man. What? Yeah, they changed it, so both healing and wolf is uninterruptible. 
Ah, uh, I did not know that. Do they have rogue blood? Uh, no. Creature 38 made him really fast, but that arrow right there just saved oh. our life. Oh, here's his partner. Actually, this is everything they've had. They don't have a base yet, so we, we need to win this. Cheek's very low. Ooh. Oh, they have a base. They have a base. Um, I think we can All follow right. them in. We can follow them in. Stay with me. Stay with me here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm right here. They, they don't have a door. What? Uh, I got my ult in 10. You should pull back. I'm going 18. Oh, I didn't have my uh, my counter. I popped it as though I had it. Uh, they're 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 making the door. I'm I'm gonna destroy it. I'm in. I'm in. I'm inside. That's nice. Nice. Countered. Okay, I got my ult. Wait for them to space bar. I'm gonna ult them. Okay, go for this other guy. Don't follow. Don't follow. Don't follow. All right. All right. Chase clap. Ah, he got in. That's right. I'm having a one v one here. Just be careful of oh, yours. He, he, oh, oh no! Oh no! That's bad. Jump! Jump off! I'm ulting. I might be able to win the two v one. It's gonna be so close though. I'll cheer you on. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Cheeks is so so low right now. I got both with my counter. They're one shot. Fuck! They're both one shot. They're both one shot. You got this. Oh, we're so we're both so low. They don't have a coffin down. I got him. I got both. Let's go. Yes. Let's go. Destroy the heart so I could come in. Oh, good call. I forgot we could destroy the heart. Huge. <laughs> Let's That's go. God, the counter is brutal. Madness, Madness and stupidity. Destroyed. I right, suck it up. I gotta heal. Uh, then let's let's yeah, bounce. Wow! Wow! Let's go! Yeah! Well, they had nothing. I got it all. They had a lot actually. Oh! oh. I mean, it's three thousand wood. A ton of stone, a bunch of animal hides, so it's not like a lot, a lot, but it's definitely some. I should have salved there and I didn't. I got too, uh, too into the fight, but I was stopping them from salving too. Alright, let's roll. Yeah. Woo! Our first team zeroed! Let's go! Oh, oh, <laughs> oh did I? Did I go east? Oh, I'm way off target. I didn't even know where we were, to be honest. So, so my heart was racing, we were way into that fight. That was huge, though. Nice, good chest. Nothing, though. All right, let's grab horses. We're probably gonna run into horse teams here in just a minute as well. Dang, that felt good. All right, so anyway, back to, back to the tangent is the bell <laughs> ringer from Beatrice will actually alert us to players from way outside of where you would think that you could hear it. So from up on top of where our castle location is about to be, we can hear the bell ringer of Beatrice the same way we can hear Octavian. And so we're just going to be looking to kind of gatekeep Beatrice, hang out, kill players getting caught in, and making some big plays. It's also just overall a good base location, I think. It has limited entrances, and it's got a hilltop, which is has been unfamiliar. I remember in the pregame show, uh, Jeremy was asking where my base was going to be. Um, but the thing is, is that I always do a different base, and a lot of the times it's very inefficient and ineffective. But this time, thanks to my teammate, we actually have a solid base location. We're going to be making some high-tier plays and trying to get those shards. I also learned something that I never knew before, which is that this over here on the right is a cotton farm. I didn't realize there was one this far east, but I guess it makes sense. I mean, it's similar to the one on the west side. So a lot of the maps mm. are sort of mirrored, which is nice. And to be honest, not a lot of people actually go on this side, so they're very unfamiliar with it. Agreed. Ooh, 10.0 on the first horse. That is a keeper. That's a lifetime Damn. horse right there. I'm here with my 
<laughs> Wolf speed, baby. Now, what would be horrible is if someone else had this base, but they do not. They do not. All right, let's get this done. I have so much stuff already. I can basically just insta create. So we want the heart for their back, right? Or do you want to make yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, that is three distance. kills so far. We are killing this. All right, that's uh, you can eat that wolf right there. Oh, yeah, you killed it. No, oh, I'm, oh, oh, blood. blood. Yeah, I thought you meant actual blood. No, 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 no. Okay, I need to break this. All right, this is big. Let me, uh, I'll start doing the, the way out. All right, I think we should save the rest of the tiles for, uh, for making sure we don't get built in. Yeah, 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 for sure. You got any blood distance you could quickly drop? So I could yeah, do quest. absolutely. I'll be back in just a second. All right, guys. So we are making some huge progress so far in the tournament. Unfortunately, we didn't manage to get through the tutorial, right? We didn't manage to gatekeep at the tutorial as I originally planned to do. But nonetheless, the plan is coming to fruition. We've got the base down in a timely manner. And we managed to zero out a duo and a solo player. So feeling very good about that duo victory. That was huge. The, uh, the use of the counters there was honestly massive. I definitely thought that I would be unable to win that fight. Um, especially because they were both kind of trying to get away to heal and I just did a good job staying aggressive and staying on top of them But they did very well keeping my duo partner out um, They didn't have a ton to lose remember guys. This is three times loot and harvest rates You're gonna see my inventory filling up very quickly in situations like this and those players are gonna be able to get right back to where they were So this is that hardcore mentality but because it's 3x, it's going to be pretty easy to get back into gear consistently in this game mode. And we're hoping, and please let us know in feedback what you all think about this. But I definitely feel as though 3x is the right thing to do. It just feels nice. And, like, it's going to allow a lot of players to just come back into the competition, right? They're not going to feel a big sense of loss that we normally see. When players die, you have a lot of people who don't want to play anymore after that. And I think this time we're not going to have that. So I'm definitely looking forward to it. And we're going to go ahead and block the corners here in full of our, our new base. And then we're going to... Wait, that's blocked by environment. So I think we need... Probably two here indeed. Yeah, two. And then we'll block this side as well. And that's going to prevent people from horse jumping in. And I think you're going to see a lot of players' bases getting zeroed that aren't used to our server. Because there's no keys required and there's base blocking and trap bases allowed, we're going to have a lot of interesting gameplay here in the first couple hours. This is an all-day siege day, so we're going to have a lot of random bases being destroyed. And me and my partner, as I mentioned in the pregame show, are specifically going to be going for siege golems here on day one of the tournament. So you will see us farming periodically for Scourge Stone, and the reason behind that is that we would like to zero out players before they have a chance to get established. And we did kind of mention that in the pregame show, just to allow some players who are listening and hanging out to counteract that play. Um, and we will see how it goes, but hopefully it all works out to our advantage for the most part. And we're not going to, I guess for now we'll build an airlock, but most of the time we're not going to need an airlock and a base of this stature. because we're going to be building down closer to the road. Unfortunately, right now, we do have the option of being zeroed out because we don't have planks. And so if someone does build below us, they will actually stop us from getting back to our own base. But uh, as soon as we get some planks, we'll be uh, preventing that from happening. And as you can see, we do have two sawmills going. And I really do love this element of the game, even though it's not really my forte. The sense that it's basically an RTS, right? We're putting the base down as soon as possible in whatever location we feel like has the most resources and the biggest chance of giving our civilization a chance to win. So we've kind of picked this out, but it's fun because every tournament I continue to choose a new base location, right? We've done Clive, we've done Quincy, we've done trap bases. Um, and most of the time I do end up in Dunley, either at by Octavian or now this first time at Man. Beatrice. 
So I'm feeling good, stupidity. and I think that this is going to pan out for us. This could be our first ever tournament where we actually place into the top three. So I'm looking forward to it. And thank you all for joining. Please join the giveaway and hang out and give some love to the other streamers as well. We've got Tryhard Scorpio and Lucy streaming the tournament. And Lucy is partnered with Nero, the past tournament winner. So I personally am for sure going to be going back to look at the tournament VOD to see what it is that Nero and his partner do to give them all three shards in the past couple tournament. But all right, we should be on the way to the workbench now and it's going to be very, very fast for us to progress here. Just because of the 3X guys, we are gonna have the, the most amount of loot. And we did run this earlier, like I mentioned, and there are five to nine copper nodes almost always sitting around this base. So we will be in full night soccer and full copper hopefully in the first 20 or 30 minutes after this like from this point on now that we've got the base down right we're gonna be making plays and trying to get some stuff done last time we came here we did have enough for night stalker because of the chorus thread that we picked up and then we almost had enough leather just from drops but this time it looks like we will have to go kill keely but we're gonna wait to do that until we have a uh, copper full so here we go we're gonna pick up the reinforced uh, bone mace and our blood rose ring we're gonna he's already got one as well And that is going to give us copper. And then we're going to be burning this copper down just so quickly and pulling up. Look at how much this gives on 3x, guys. This is my first copper node of the tournament, and it's giving hundreds of copper. A hundred. We already have 350 just from drops or the other players or whatever it was that was the case. But we are definitely on the way up. What do we have to do here? we got to increase our gear level by a little bit. Let's go ahead and equip our Blood Rose Ring. And that will be done. Blood altar needs to come down. Oh, I need blood essence. That is going to be our copper weapons and then a little bit more salve and we are absolutely ready to go here. So stone and wood, let's go ahead and get all this going. Our partner is very, very, very good at organization. As you can see, he's getting all the chests directly next to it. We've got metal here and gems. So just feeling very good about playing with a player who's this confident at organization. We're going to get an alchemy box up here as well. This is going to be bones, herbs, and grass for now, as well as hearts. Out of blood, that's big bad, unfortunately. Um, oh, I should have been paying attention to that. I screwed up. But it's not going to be that big of a deal, thankfully. All right, so we're drinking a deer. We're getting this last copper node. And then we're going to be back down to T1. Uh, thank you all for the likes, the comments, and the love. I appreciate it. The 1v2 was a pop-off. Teammate did a great job bottlenecking them and getting them low, though. All right, this is going great. I've got to, I've got the furnaces up and running. Okay, I just farmed up 700 copper ore right now. Huge. We are ready to dive into T1. So much copper. Jeez, we are done. All right, yeah, so what else do we have here? Let me heal. Um, Alchemy blood gear. All right, we need one more chest for tailoring mats, which I'll put over here on the side. And we'll just put uh, all our skins and stuff in here for now. Um, and alchemy and blood, I'm going to put uh, the paper and cloth for now as well. Yeah. I guess I guess actually cloth should probably go in the other one. All right, we're making very good progress. See how everything's nice and organized? Organized, man. I'm calling you out on stream. You're winning. <laughs> A hero to the people. All right, how many... Uh, What do we need for the copper? Uh, 16? Okay, that's actually going to be a minute. Yeah. 
I almost want to just go get Keely while we wait for it all to smelt, but I was it, just it about really to won't. That. It won't take too long though, and having the copper weapons, it, we would lose more time if we lose a fight down there. Let's see, I'm already oh, at. Can... Uh, I'm okay, at here's 10. the idea. We could go, come up super huge, or we come back and you know die and everything's ready. So it wouldn't um, really matter. I'm going to grab my tea and go to the bathroom real fast, actually. So I'm going to wait for copper. I'm going to make a pro progression play. I think if we go down there with copper maces, we're going to devastate like whoever's there. And we're going to be in such a good spot to go from there to Shoot. elsewhere. I'll be back in just a moment. All right, I got the tea. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling great. Good, good. Because I just blocked off our entrance, so we're safe now. Like, All right, the first copper weapon's coming up, and yours is about a fourth of the way done. You want a mace too as well, yeah? Yeah. All right. There's all the planks. All right. All the coppers in there as well. You've got enough salves? Yeah, I've got three. It's okay for now. Did we actually discover that way gate? I wonder. Oh, we can see it, so we have it discovered. We can actually drop down to the way gate directly on top of Keeley. It doesn't Ooh. really save us that much time, though, so actually, I don't know. You know what we need is Lydia as well for the Devourer. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put Lydia on track with the blood altar. Do we have? We probably should have got more furnaces going. To be honest, we underestimated how long this would uh, how long yeah. this would take. Yeah. Um. Will you uh will you split one of these and then? Unfortunately, my middle mouse button is broken. So I'm gonna, here's 500 stone on the ground and then maybe just make one more furnace. Cause we've got the space, we've got the time. We're about halfway there. Be right back. All right, what also was amazing is that I've been watching Shroud play and it gives me a lot of hope to see players come back into a professional setting after all this time. And as I mentioned in the pregame show, I also watched uh, iDub's content creator boxing match and it's just so much fun seeing all of this stuff come to light lately. And if you all haven't watched that, I highly suggest you check it out. It was really entertaining to see some of the content creators that I know and love just out there in the ring battling, but also actually taking the time and effort to train. And a lot of them put out videos. If you all have seen Epic Meal Time, I used to watch that a lot when I was younger in the Air Force. And so watching people from the videos I watched 10 years ago now getting into the ring and fighting other content creators to me is just so interesting and unexpected. And like one of the victors said, um, they're doing all the side quests in life. And I feel like we're on that route as well. And I just love to see it, you know, the esports casting, the commentary, playing in the tournament, setting things up, diving in, graduating trying to learn Italian, going to the gym. All of this is part of our IRL goal of doing as well in IRL as we do in games, right? We're making the grind happen. We're having fun and just diving into a lot of interesting things. So I hope you all are doing that as well. And you're having a great Friday and an excellent start to your weekends. 
But we are out here getting ready to check out Keeley and go west and hit Grayson and Clive and Pelora. And we're going to try to just do one nice boss run as well as dive into some serious endgame PvP. Well, I guess suppose not endgame, but, you know, enough PvP to really turn the tables and to keep it interesting. I think that we've taken a little bit longer than I thought we would to set up the base. So we're not quite able at the moment to be very, very far ahead competitively. But we're in a good enough spot to be able to fight any team in a 2 versus 2. And as soon as we get Keeley down, we're going to get Night Stalker full. And we're going to be coming up to level 30 very early into this competition's lifespan. And we'll just see how it goes after that. I'm looking forward to Pelora because I want to be checking out Wolf Snare. I think Wolf Snare in twos is going to be a very, very good ability. All right, your mace is done. Let's drop everything and head out via the um, via the waygate. I think we could just run down there. Yeah, we could. That way, we could. We might be able to run across other people as well. Yeah. Oh wait, this is your horse. Alright, we've got copper, we got salves, we are in a good spot, man. Let's do this. I, I would almost recommend trying to swap that horse out if you get an opportunity. Yeah. Let me scout it out. So I think it took a little bit longer to make the base than I'd hoped, but we're still on par with everyone else, without a doubt. If anything, it's just the cooking stuff that took too long. Yeah. The base was already done. Base true. And you've cleared us to the road, right? Uh, okay, to the bottom, I see, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 44% warrior right here, but it's a skull. Is that worth our time? No. Alright. It's nice, but... Uh, player on me, already at half. His duo partner's here at full, I'm fighting both. Okay, I'm coming, I'm just checking for horses. They don't have copper, one's already low. He's one shot. Jeez. No way did he get my mount. No, get him with the old. No way he got away. I'm so, I'm so bad. I can't believe that. Another player's on him. Uh, we've got a 2v2 over here. Uh, another okay. Two other players here, level 20. Uh, three players on me. Okay. That's a good team, and I don't have my ult. Oh, so many players here. Just pull back. That one's one shot. Up over to your right. Yeah, just so... I hit Parker off the mount as well, one between us. His, so his uh, duo okay. partner is nowhere nearby. I'm popping oh, off, he's level 20. Uh, I got your horse back. Oh no, he's... Oh no, I shouldn't have had that. I'm fighting Parker, he's low. Another yeah, team here, nice. very low, very low. I'm about to get frozen, I'm in trouble. I'm, I'm here. I'm running away, one of them is very low in the back. I'm gonna heal. Top right, one is one shot. All right, let, grab your horse, and we could chase. It's right behind you. Oh, it's cheeks and claps. Uh, I'm gonna pull off. This is their base. We don't wanna. We don't wanna push them all the way to the yeah, base. Yeah, you, that was some good PVP right there, though. Right, I'm coming. They're chasing. All right, let's pull off. Oh wait, their base is here. Yeah, let's pull off. Let's pull off. That team has a base. Uh, that was like eight players all battling right there. That was amazing. I'm surprised only one person died out of all of that. Uh, a bunch of, I think a bunch of people died there. Just not right on top of us. I don't see Keeley. Uh, two players here, both low. They uh, they hit me. I'm pulling off. They got Lydia. I countered one. Oh, I'm so low. I'm in trouble. I'm gonna pull off. Oh, I jump behind him. I'm dead. Okay. Absolutely outplayed there. The chaos volley did so much damage. Oh, I got caught in the Didn't have my ult either. I should have pulled off sooner. Ah, uh, yeah. You didn't have your ult either, did you? No, uh, I used it in the last. Yeah, man. We gotta we gotta try to remember that and then not take twos. My fault. It's all good. Insta pushed. Gave him the come up! Achilles not there either, so we'll just waypoint back down without horses. Dang, that was a huge fight. There's so many players here already. Holy heck. It really is. That is a lot. Hopefully enough copper was cooking to just get us right back to where we were. Nope. <laughs> you don't think so? 
No, that does no no. Need to get some more. Oh dang, that team had a massive come up, man. They both hit me with the copper off the horse, just blam. Yeah, Chaos Wally also helped as well. Yeah, big help there. Uh, do you think one hit from Chaos Volley does as much damage as Blood Bolt? Or Shadow Bolt, rather? Yeah. So it's just overall basically twice as better. Other than the fact that it doesn't have a slow. Twice as better. Yeah. Um, we just barely don't have enough. We're one copper bar short. All right, it's, it's cooking, actually. There's five in the chest. I don't even know if I made plated that time, actually. I think I screwed up there. Did you make plated? Nope. Oh, we both screwed up. We should have been way higher yeah. level there. I was wondering why people were higher level than Yeah, us. same. I was like, wow, they're 23 and 26. Oh, wow, yeah, we definitely screwed up there. And it has a set bonus. Increased physical power and how Oh, we're bad. Yeesh. Oh, that new. That's that rust. <laughs> Gotta wipe it off. All right, copper mace coming up and the plated boots. Um, we're going to need some more blood rose for the rings, and then we're going to be good to go. Oh, we've got all the blood rose. I'm going to make two. Alright, two blood rose rings each. I'm gonna go grab some more cotton real quick. Or uh some more copper rather. Yeah, I was gonna do that too. Oh, got to make. I can't believe we forgot to make bone guard. For some reason I thought we had enough for night stalkers. When I looked, I was like, ah, we're good. I don't need no plated. I wonder what the health differential is there. 50 to 100? Be right back. Lord Leopold with the sub as well. So many subs in the chat today, you guys. Thank you for the likes, the love, and the support. We're about 30 minutes into this tournament right now, and we're doing pretty well. We won a couple of big early fights, and we lost one as well. But overall, we're doing very good with the base. If we can grab Keeley, we can be right back where we started. But as you saw, there's a lot of players who are all in very, very similar circumstances at the moment. Just trying to get forward and get Keeley and the other little bosses that they need. So we're going to have a big battle in Farbane as players compete with one another to escape from just the sheer amount of people. As you saw there, we had 10 or 12 or even 14 vampires all fighting, running away, stealing each other's horses. And that's exactly what we want to avoid. But I, sometimes we can't help it. Even with a partner who's as organized and as objectively focused as mine, we're still getting stuck into some PvP, but we did a pretty good job positioning. And a lot of those players did a fantastic job of stealing the horses and coordinating attacks. Madness. The biggest part of these Madness two versus two fights stupidity. is going to be targeting one player and just downing them. That way you could focus on the other one. And as we saw there, both players consistently went for me and kept me low. And that was just extremely well played on their part. I'm um, looking for some copper nodes. We can get back up into copper. Unfortunately, not seeing one at the moment, but it would probably be behoove us, excuse me, to have enough copper set up to get a whole nother set going if we were to die one more time. But hopefully that doesn't happen again and we can just stay a bit safer. Unfortunately, my my split button is broken, so we're gonna we're gonna change really quick. My middle mouse, uh, I broke it this morning when we were practicing, so I no longer have a middle mouse. Uh, repair item and inventory split stack, so we're gonna want that to be. I'm not sure. Uh, what's a good button? I feel like every button is taken. H maybe is H a button? Madness. Madness, Madness and, and stupidity. stupidity. Thank you guys for the follows, the likes, and the love. We were trying to get some stuff done and dive back into the tournament. That was a big mistake to not make plated, honestly. That was a rookie mistake, and we fell right into it. Oh, we need bone rings. 
Wait, it didn't. Did, did you take my uh, my blood rose ring by chance? Um, yeah, I got one. Is there none in? Uh, you know what? I clicked it twice, but I forgot you need one to make one. So no, no, we we got it now. All right, now we're at 23. We're in a better spot. So, uh, yours is cooking. I think we should have enough. That's gonna be that's gonna be five, seven. Yeah, we should have enough. I'm gonna stack them all in there. Guess what? I found a hundred. We're at ten. Blood already. No way. Yeah, it's a vodka one. Did you drink Did it? Take it? No, no, no. I think you should take it. You I'm think gonna that's gonna last there? all the way till we kill Vincent? Could hope. Ah, yeah. I guess we could hope. We could hope. Dang, that was just so much PvP. That was really unexpected. For some reason, I thought there would only be a couple people there. Like, the majority of teams would already got it. But we saw so many teams that did the same thing we did. They went and got copper, and then they started doing their progression bosses. Yeah. Alright, I got one more node, and then we should, uh, we should leave. I think this time we should avoid PvP if we can, because that loss honestly costs us, like, 10 minutes or more. And I don't think it would have been worth whatever they had, which was probably nothing. Although, I guess, I don't know, man. If we beat them, we would have had a second set. So then we would have been, you know, at least 10 minutes ahead in that regard. I don't think it's worth it, though. Probably not. I don't know. It's part of that. It's part of, the, like, the idea of zeroing the other teams and halting progression. But when it backfires and you go so far back, then you start to question it. But when you win, you just don't care. Uh, there's a player on me. Only level five. I, they were looking for a base location, but maybe they have a ton of mats on them. Oh, okay. I'll just wait for wow, the horse jump actually saved me from the ult. That is wild. Got them in my ult for sure. Got them with the blood bolt. Dead. Good timing there. Yep. Definitely there to create a base. Some copper as well, I think. Alright, ready for round two. You have your copper? Oh, yeah. Alright, let's roll. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to grab it. I hear the bell ringer from here. Was that you? Yeah, I'll try oh, to yeah, I love it. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure Keely should be up now. Same. I mean, there's got to be a lot of teams that are fighting, so we'll see how it goes. But uh, I'm ready. I'm ready when you are. Yeah, we got to get back out there. Big loss. All right. Uh, do you have a horse? Here, take my horse or your. I'm pretty sure that's your horse, actually. Uh, I will grab another one and we will roll out of here. Dang, that was a big loss. Like it didn't feel like it until we got home and had nothing, and I was like, hmm. I don't know about this one. Do you have blood? Yeah, I just took a one percent. Uh, here's a 20% creature if you want it. Ooh. More movement speed. Not gonna say no to that. <laughs> Jaykez, Warsigner, what is going on, everyone? Welcome to the stream. Thank you for joining us today. We are on a 10 minute delay, but we do have a couple giveaways. Thankfully, Jeremy, aka Bear Me from Stunlock Studios, did give us. 10 codes to give away so we've got some v rising codes and some dlcs to give out today so we do have both the base game and the dlc so when you win the giveaway i will allow you to choose whatever you want so just keep that in mind when you win that you can have either the base game or one of the dlcs all right let's roll i'm just going to take this horse right here even an 8.1 is fine since we're only going to keely god damn oh i don't have any salves yeah, neither do I. Oh, no. 
We are not PvP so. ready. If they pull back and heal, it's going to put us at a big disadvantage. But let's just try to get Keeley, go back in Night Stalker full, and then we'll make salves. Mm. Played around me. It's Cheeks. Uh, he actually got me with Copper from very far away. Uh, let's just try to avoid this fight. Yeah, yeah. They got their base around too. Yeah. Yeah, I would say there's probably a team who's level 30 by now if they actually got Keeley. This horse is so slow, it's madness. I'm gonna jump off here and heal really quick before we go in. Yeah, I'm gonna quickly heal in and see if... No, Keely's still not up. Um, I don't know, do you wanna go for uh... We could go and... Should we check F-Bear? F-Bear's cool. closest. Here's a player, Jinx. Thanks. Big in cap on him right there. Oh, huge counter though. Seems solo so far. They're turning into a wolf. Yeah, I'm on a horse. Countering. Oh. They gave up. I saw that. Madness. Wow, a piece of night stalker. Nice. A chest, right? Yeah. Oh, you saw that? Oh, and five selves. Yeah. All right, here. I'm going to drop uh, three selves on the ground for you. That, that was the biggest come up we could have right there. Some, another player? On top of me, it's Parker. Yeah. Hit me for 23. I'm low. One guy in-capped in the back. I'm pulling off. I'm just going to try to take this at range. Got him for 25 oh, here. Okay. Salve. Pushing on this side. I hit him both with the counter. Slinky's lowest. Let's try to push Slinky or maybe, uh, maybe Parker. No, Parker no, on the right. No. Parker on the right. Ulting in the back, ulted in the back. Oh, just Going for Slinky now? Yeah. Slinky's lowest. Uh, let's salve again and wrap around the other side. No, Keely hit me. Yeah, well, big, Keely. big shot there. Got Parker for 28. Slinky's in the back healing. Parker's low here. I'm gonna pull. Yeah, I'm going around your side as well. Keely's on my back. Ah, uh, they got me in the combo. No, no, pull out toward me. Pull out toward me. Good freeze. Oh, good okay. freeze. Big freeze. Parker's one. Parker's dead. Just try to survive. Just pull off and try to survive if you can. Slinky's on me at half. Got him in his back for 33. Baited the counter, he's dead. Nice. Nice, good fight there. Great win, brother. Yeah, good good nice. ultimate. You got both with the ultimate there. All right, let's quickly do... Uh, I'm gonna heal. Woo, that was exciting. I like how right after we said we were not gonna fight, I gotta take the fights. You have to. Uh, I think someone's fighting Keely in this tent up here to my right. Yeah, they are. Oh, they just came out, they're low. Very low, very low player though. Let's just clear the mobs. Let's try going for the horse. Alright, let's full heal and then take Keely down. Great fights there. Beautiful plays. I gotta drink something. Alright, I'll stop the fight. Uh, alright. You see any wolves or anything? No. I wish I could drink this horse. Alright, I'll be there in a second. It's all good. I'm gonna bring the horses closer as well. Yeah, put them behind the tent. Madness. Madness and stupidity.
Nicely done. I do not have any salves. I used them all that fight. That was a great fight. Also, oh, remember, we, we were just talking about how we needed salves in a fight, and I used all of mine. There you go. There's another one here. It's on the ground. Alright. Nicely done, man. That ultimate was insane. Okay, let's go and make our night stalker. And. That was another tournament champion, by the way. Slinky. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Taking them out. This is the time, man. Sending them back. Now they got to go back for 10 minutes and refarm copper. <laughs> Speaking of copper, there's a node here. Nice node. I'm going to leave your horse here since uh, the other one's further. Oh, wait. There's two horses here. Here's a 9.7. Oh. And an 8.7. Do you remember what that first one was? <laughs> I think I looked. 8.1? Uh, 8 8.1? Yeah, I think you're right. 9.6. All right, let's roll. Um, so now we're thinking full Night Stalker, right? And put these yeah, uh, these secondary like copper that. weapons away. All right. Beautiful fight so far. Just a fantastic start to the tournament for us. Oh, we just regained what we lost the first fight. Exactly. And we got Keely, which was the biggest part of that. I want to get explosives, man. I want to kill Clive. Someone just rode by. Ah, I think their horse was faster. Don't, don't, don't get distracted. Oh, good call out, man. I definitely would have fought that. Give me the loot. Didn't we just kill like two teams or three teams? Yeah, a lot of solos there as well. Okay, but he's not that close. He <laughs> huge. All right, so I think we should make like six little tailoring things. You know what's weird is that I don't see anything in Dawnbreak. Someone might already be going for Beatrice. No, they're not. Dang, that would have been a big pickup to get Beatrice this early. Honestly, the first team to kill Clive is going to be in a really great position as well. Hmm. I think the explosives into zeroing would be pretty incredible. I think we should let people farm a little bit more than we zero them out. You know, let them do a bit more work. <laughs> <laughs> True, but it's so fast to get stone, it's going to be hard to catch them in between. Ooh, lots of hearts that time. Are we, are, is our borders maxed? Yeah. All right. So we need uh we need leather working stations. So food this was so close. This is kinda messy, but I'm just gonna place them down for now to get them cooking. Yeah, yeah. Oh we can just get right back out there ASAP. Beautiful. <laughs> so much rawhide. We're gonna have an insane amount of leather. Yeah, I already got a bit of cotton. Let's loom up some chest. Alright, let me see how much coarse thread we have. We have almost enough for a full set for a... There's another... Oh, okay. We have enough. We have enough. It's 16 each. Yeah, we're done then. As soon as the leather comes out, we'll be good. Well played, man. This is a good start.
All right, so now we are going to go for Clive, Clive via TP and Pelora for Wolf Snare. Here is three more souls for you. Beautiful, well played. Um, I'm gonna throw all this bone stuff on the ground over here because I don't care about it. If you say that, then we lose life. Uh, next <laughs> fight. <laughs> True. I'm gonna save some of it. I'm gonna save the copper and uh, the blood rings. I mean, we have the stuff for uh, for Night Stalker, so we should be able to go backward into Night Stalker now. Yeah. Hope and pray, anyway. All right, this is it. Uh, let's see. That's Night Stalker full. Pretty sure we have enough for yours, four each. Yep, that's that's it. Let me. Uh, I'll craft yours right now, and we're gonna be off. Beautiful. Dang, man. I am impressed with your organization skills. The base is looking hot. Feeling good here. Um, what do we need? We need 12 leather. This is messy. For 12. Me. <laughs> <laughs> this is very organized for me. You have no idea. Or you have a very good idea, whichever. But all right. So we've got that. Um, we need just a, a little bit more leather to finish your last piece. And then I think we should upgrade the base once more and then build out to the road so we can't be blocked. And then we should go. Or one of us How goes. Actually, now we. can't we... be blocked. We're fine. Yeah. Because you can't build on the right side. Because there's a. Oh, okay. Oh, well played then. Beautiful. Alright, well, that also saves us some time then. Cape. Alright. Do you have one? I'm just getting the lever. Beautiful. I'll be back in one second. All right, guys, I am feeling fantastic here at the start of this tournament. We wiped out a couple teams. We did take an early loss, but we beat one of the ex-tournament champions as well. We haven't seen Nero and Lucy yet, which has me a bit nervous. I know in the pregame show they were talking about going straight into Dunley and farming the monastery for Scourge Stones, and we're going to start doing that very soon as well. That way we can get the sieges going as soon as possible. We are now one hour into the tournament and feeling pretty good about it. Very, very good start here. If we can pick up Clive uh, fairly easily and not take another death, then we're going to be well on the way to T2. And we're looking to get into Dawnthorn before today is over, as well as drop some sieges. So we've got some big ideas, and so far they are coming to fruition, and we're feeling good about it. And welcome, everybody, and thank you for joining us. Big shout out to Stunlock Studios for helping us put this event on and bringing everyone out here for the Merciless Duos tournament. You can see that the server is full and there are vampires everywhere. I'll craft you one. Alright. Need some protection against that tier 4 boss. All right, I'm ready. Let's go. All right, it's the teleporter, brother. Your inventory is uh, clear? Of course. <laughs> it's more of a question for myself, but gotta <laughs> ask. Here's a uh, 60% creature. I almost, I think I'm gonna go for that. Oops. Oh, shit. Sure. 
Nice. I'm just gonna keep picking that stuff up. Alright. It's a Clive! I almost want Lydia first. I do have her on track. Should we try to find Lydia? Teleport down there and see if the blood takes us and then Clive? I think we should Player on me? Game uh, level zero to spawn, no worries. We don't, we don't need uh, to kill him. Did you switch or... Skill? To what, Frostbat? I did not. Or should we try to get Gorswine while we're down here? Double corpse explosion this early? That would be massive. Mm. If we see it. Okay. I'm game with that. Oh, he'd be on the left. He'd be on the right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna swing right just super fast. Sometimes we can get Gorswine and Lydia actually down here on the right. So I'm gonna make a slight detour and then we'll see. Wow, someone actually built right next to the way gate. That's interesting. I kind of like that. The no PvP protection I think made people put down bases very early. Alright, come on, oh. Gore Swine, just be here. No, he's not here. And someone's already looted all the grave dust. <laughs> Very interesting. Should we keep going right? It shows Lydia's to the right as well. Yeah, I might as well. I think that that ability is just going to be so good, the slow. It's going to really help us target one player. Assuming someone else didn't kill them. It's weird playing duos, because I've never actually competed. I always just commentate. And so it's challenging for me to think of like the tactical decisions required. Oh, to that's why we do the pre-game planning. Get that out of the way and, you know, just enjoy playing and chatting with chat. That's true, that's true. I hope chat's out here. I get those GG's in the chat. Uh, vampires on me, two of them. Uh, one, excuse me, Lord Impa. Nice hit. Good ult on his party, missed though. Got him with my ult. <laughs> we both missed. We both missed each other twice with our uh, our copper maces. We both jumped toward each other. Oh, he has Lydia. He's in trouble though, 2v1, it's impossible. Yeah. No way. Um, what was I doing? Uh, we'll check this graveyard and then we'll we'll head to Clive. Player here, level nine. Uh, I'm gonna so. I'm gonna hit him and just try to get him to leave. But uh, Gorse wine's here. Oh, okay, nice. <laughs> we pulled everything though, okay. <laughs> Dang, this is going to be quite the battle. Let's just try to keep our health up. So many adds. I'm going to go for the uh, the skeletal mages first. Yeah, same. Alright, that's one of them down. Another one down. One on me is at half. Oh, that was the combo. Another one dead. Uh, I think I got the last two on me then. Uh, just one left. I'm gonna pull off and heal just in case we get jumped. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh no, I saw my counter too early. Nice hits. I never kill this guy in my solo game, to be honest. Yeah, because we're playing Giwo, we start going for like, you know, AoE builds. Also, I watched Lucy um, PvP. That is insane. She is so good, it is baffling. She almost 100 O's me in equal gear, like I, I just, I can't even. The two counter run is so interesting. But I think most people switch to that meta or that meta later in the game, like not really at the beginning, because when their spell power gets higher, the counters and the shields just give you so much, you know, so much that it's hard to out damage the shield before the cooldowns up. This, this fight is toxic. On uh, vampires north of us fighting alpha wolf. See Got those eagle eyes, baby. Ah, oh, missed my counter. Yeah, you should heal up. Maybe pull it more in the middle. It's just standing in the back corner. We can't yeah. really get at it. Here? Oh, no. No. All right, everybody. This is quite the start for us. If we can actually get Gorswine down, this is going to be a massive for our 2v2 fights. The ability to slow straight away. We're going to be running double corpse explosion and possibly, as we talked about before the tournament, also running Purgatory from Christina the Sun Priestess. That way we basically have two slows, two AoEs, and two heals. So we'll be trying to just get up close into people's faces and pressure them consistently with all the AoEs and the ultimates. So we'll see how it goes. Like I mentioned earlier, this is one of my first ever two versus two tournaments where I'm actually participating rather than commentating. So I'll probably be a little bit distracted as we try to figure out the plays and how we're going to bring this one down. But I'm, I'm having a really good time so far. Unfortunately, a lot of the players do seem to be solo. And it's just so, so hard to win one versus two in this game. But today, guys, we are going to be giving away five DLCs and five game codes. So we'll be giving one of those away here very soon. That's a Merciless Copper. Merciless Copper Axes. Okay, we should... Base? Yeah. Uh, heal up in base. Madness. Um, Madness and then what? Iron and Copper? Sympathy. Do we? I think we skip Clive for now then, don't we? I'm um, gonna equip uh, Corpse Explosion as well. Double dash is way too good. It is so, so, so good. Um, well, we know Clive's gonna drop one. Should we just go to Clive anyway? No, nah, we, we should go back and drop Man. the uh, All right. Man. Um, Man. Who do we need on the way back? Anybody? If we could find Lydia, that'd be awesome. Oh, that's right, that's right. Uh, let me stand still and see if she pops. Uh, left. Um, maybe we just ride by copper mine. Probably here. <laughs> Peanut and butter, the best duo name ever. Yeah, somewhere, somewhere this way. I immediately knew they were a duo. I was like, mm. they, they were. They didn't have the same color yet. They were in the same clan, but I was like, come on, there's gotta be. I forgot to read off the clan names. I'll do that uh, during the first giveaway left again she could be dead is the only issue i think she might be out copper mine all right up here do we want to run that or do we want to run 
Double corpse explosion encounters left. Founder? Yep. Oh, he's coming back. Got him? Yeah. I think we chase this here. Yeah. Oh, I shouldn't have uh, went for my ability there. Big freeze. Damn, he's going to push this all the way. What a legend. I'm going to turn out the ult here. I don't think we're going to need it. Oh, he just got demolished oh. by Lydia. Call. Oh, I don't have any salves. Um, um, here's some rats. I'm uh, making some right now as well. Let's see if he had any. Wow, he had a lot of stuff. What was he doing? His inventory was literally full. Legend. What a le what a madman! I'm gonna drop his gear on the ground. I mean, they took the horse. They should just left. He wanted the he wanted it man. He wanted Lydia, he wanted us, he wanted it all. Respect that bro. Yeah. Dang, she's tanky. Yeah, she's definitely taking quite a lot of flags. All right, here comes a player. No, oh no. Okay, there's at least two here. We should uh, we should go for this, I think. Yeah. Beautiful Q oh. there off the bat from this player. Uh, Angel's down, not ours. I'm going for boss, top right. Top left, rather. I used Angel, I'm gonna pull off here a little bit. I should be able to win this 1v1. I'm not, not positive, but it's looking good so far. Yeah. He's running. I'm chasing. Oh, so close. Oh, uh, that was. Mine ran. I'm coming back. How's yours? They ran away. Ah, uh, same. I might as well get the horses in there. Oh, we probably should have did a 2v1 there. That was greedy. Uh, looks like. No, just monsters fighting over here. Player here? Nope. It's a, sorry, it's just a normal wolf. <laughs> For sure, oh, that was a player. God. This whole time I've been fighting with um, no blood. Nice. Actually, let me suck this. Sorry, no. I already had that drop down. <laughs> um, I don't know. My inventory is full, but I still want yeah. Clive, and like it's mostly junk. You got the book. Don't want to. I do that. have the book. Uh, guy on me, thirty-four. Level thirty-four. Yep, I just countered him. His partner's here, they're already low. This is looking good for us. Focus on the one on the left. Yeah. Pushing it. Keep chasing. Just solo that one. The other one's not here yet, we still have time. Uh, can I touch not? Big freeze, I'm gonna knock this guy off. Got him, focus this one on the right here. This one on the right, just use their space bar. Yeah. Ulting. Got him in the ult. Got him the, the ca he's so low, he's so low. Careful. No, oh he can't, uh, no. Uh, try to go to the right here. 
A dead player, he jumped off to loot for no apparent reason. Why would he do that? Got him. He's one shot. Huge. I have no idea why you wouldn't put that loot back, dude. That's my level of greed right there. Oh, I can't, I can't, I can't. Holy shit, the bug. I was trying to execute him and it wanted me to loot. So I couldn't, I couldn't let go. Uh, I'm gonna pull off and heal real quick. Uh, he's got Night Stalker and a bunch of other stuff. Oh my god, I, I might die, I might die. Oh my god. Pull off, pull off full. This is so bad. Keep pulling off. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Alright, we need to heal. Did you get his loot by chance? Not all of it. Alright, um. Still chasing? What the fuck? Uh, alright. I gotta heal as well. Good fight though. Terrible afterward, but good fight. That that bug frustrates me so bad sometimes. When you try to yeah. kill someone next to a chest or like next to loot and it just wants you to take it and you're just stuck. I'm literally left clicking as hard as I possibly can. But you can't do anything. I can't do nothing. Eee! I'm gonna head back over there. Loot's still on the ground, looking good. Uh, he has a merciless night soccer, I think, as well. That was a really big kill for us. Oof. All right, let's head back to go. These are not all stuff. Right, I'm just gonna grab that book. I hear a horse outside. Care. Someone's coming. Yeah, yeah, I hear it too. You got everything? Yep. Alright, let's dip. Okay. Massive fight, good win. Hopefully my callouts are okay. Let me know if they're not. It gets a little hectic. No, Alright, we need we need no more fights here. We need to go straight home. Tell that to yourself. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's me. That's me talking to me. Yahoo! <laughs> Still, we've come up a lot. Yeah, that was a big one right there. Now if we get home with the Merciless, both the axes and the uh, the legging or the boots, that should get us to level, what, 32 or so? Mm. Should we see if Quincy's open? Not go in, but just so we can come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder if anyone's beat Quincy yet. It's pretty early. Once you closed on this side. I've got like 4,000 wood on me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Quincy oh, full yeah. closed. Oh, okay. Um, now, now what? We should get iron and cotton really fast before there's a lot of T2 players? Or do we go for Clive so we can start getting bombs? Yeah, I think we should go for bombs. I think we should get grinder ASAP and then turn our front wall to stone as well. That way we can't get do you bombed. Have any whetstones with you? I do not have whetstones. Uh, all we need is one more. Um, we can get those at Octavian. Yeah. Y yeah, okay. So a little Octavian run after this. Whew, this is intense, man. There's a lot of really good fights. Yeah, corpse explosions are a little janky. It is, but it slows them the second it touches them, I think. <laughs> so it's mostly for the slow. Unless that's purgatory, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I it's... I think that's purgatory. Is it? Let me look. Yeah. Bomb pox, but no, no, it plays a fading snare. Yeah, yeah, it's this oh, one. Okay. And it's it's the second it touches them. It's not after it explodes, which I kind Madness. of feel is broken. Madness and stupidity. I'm not sure it's supposed to be like that. Like, the second they're in it, they're snared. So it's just really good for chasing and basically makes it impossible to escape from two players. Is 
Is that you that set the bell off? Yeah. I'm excited, man. I want this base to be uh to be what happens. Holy shit, the wolves popping in with a five gifted sub and a sub himself. Six subs, you guys, that is massive. Let me get some rat strats, hypes, and chills in the chat. Thank you, wolves. Seriously awesome. You guys are putting in so much work today supporting us and hanging out. I am with one brain cell who is a European player staying up to 6 a.m. so we can make an attempt and bring his name to fame here in the $500 Merciless Cash Cup. Right now, we are doing very, very well. We took an early loss and we came back from that immensely. We've now got a couple sets of Night Stalker and some pretty good equipment and we are well on our way to tier two here. Picking up the Merciless Axes from Gorswine is going to give us a massive, massive boost in saving time. We no longer need Clive and one of us can go get iron and the other get cotton and that is going to be the massive come up. We're probably going to be waiting for Quincy until we're level 35 or higher. And that is going to be intense. Drama King in the chat says someone's blocking Alpha Wolf. Sylvanas as well. Oh. Gatekeeping Alpha Wolf. I like it. Except they're bad at PvP. Uh, all right, let me see. Storage. Where, where are we at? We need a research desk. So animal hides and plank. Yeah, we should have plenty of those. Yes, indeed. I'll get it down right now really fast. Planks down. Research desk coming in hot. Boom. Damn, this is looking fantastic. This is such a good run for us so far, man. All right, uh, research desk. Let me get the, uh, let me get the merciless. Both mercilesses are up and running now. I'm gonna right. go ahead and put the boots on. Let me see. So we gain six health and one gear level, but we lose two physical power. Is that even worth it? I don't Maybe know. Maybe we should hold off until one more. Hold off till one more. I think so as well. It's so interesting right. trying to think about the set bonuses. Strange. Mm -hmm. Use the paper. Let's see if you got the RNG with you. We need eight whetstones for the merciless axes as well. <laughs> the RNG with everything open? What do we even want? I got a chair? A huge? Uh, and? <laughs> and merciless gloves! Actually huge! There we go. That is the two set. <laughs> I am impressed with that RNG actually, with every splot blank and pulling up a piece of armor. That or a weapon would have been very, very massive. Or, or a potion, I think. Yeah, but no, I, I think we got these. Really Alright, so uh, all the uh, coppers in there for you to make the double merciless as well. Dang, that is big, man. We are looking so juicy right now. Oh, we can make <laughs> we have a, so many blood rose rings. rings. Oh, yeah, the devourer as well. Um, so we need whetstones. Um, let's see. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna naked run Octavian real quick for whetstones. Right. I'll go ahead and. Uh, I didn't empty my inventory. I'm gonna come back. Just in case, kind of a dangerous run. Wish we had slashers. Mm. Yeah, that would be huge. That would be a juicy. The wolves are coming. Dang, just imagine if someone had explosives already. If they just rushed Clive and rushed the alchemy lab, that would be gorgeous. On 3x, I think you can easily get enough sulfur just from hitting sulfur mine a few times, but there's probably a lot of PvP at Clive. I remember the time I made my base at Clive and I named my character Clive's boyfriend. I fought at Clive for over two hours before I finally killed him. There was like 30 people there in the solos match. It was beautiful, yeah, so man. Cool. Hey, yeah. thank you for that massive question in chat. How do we sign up and play? This is actually a drop-in, drop-out $500 format. So you are more than welcome to drop in and out. Please type exclamation Discord in the chat to join Discord. The sign-up link is in there as well as on the official V Rising Discord. So you have to sign up to get prize money. But for the most part, it's just drop-in, drop-out, come on in. As players start to get zeroed and we have different time slots throughout the day for people to play, there will be openings constantly especially on the last day of the tournament when some people have given up but because it's three times loot guys it is very easy to get into a full set of gear and come back from nothing so i welcome you all to join to play to hang out chat and have fun and check out the other streamers as well we do have lucy morningstar and tryhard scorpio in the tournament some of the beautiful content creators from v rising are coming out uh, i must I, i'm dead i think 
No, I, I pushed spacebar and nothing happened. Oh no, my counter wasn't up. Ouch. You went naked, right? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm risking if someone else comes there naked, they just got a full gear set. For sure. Dang, that feels bad, man. I pushed counter, and I guess I'd already used it, and the shield bird just, just ripped me in half. Easy. I'm coming to help. Um, you should hit this camp next to us. If you go here, um, there's usually like four or five chests there. I think between these, we should have enough whetstones for the merciless. I wish I had Clive's spacebar. It makes it so easy to farm this. True. Ah, oh, no chests in here? That's new. Yes. No, I don't even just farm again. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. Oh no, I'm just throwing. I'm just throwing right now. I, I was so cocky. I tried to get on my horse, and then the shield brew ripped me in half again. Oh no, I'm sorry, chat. <laughs> this is bad. This is really bad. <laughs> oh god, I deserve for a naked to come loot me. This is why I always say it's never too late to join the tournament, because you only have to run into a player who's not doing well or makes a really stupid decision, and you're going to get all of their gear. Right now, if you joined the tournament and you were at Octavian, twice in a row now, you would be level 34 with full Merciless and Copper. You'd be at the highest point of anyone else in the tournament so far. I think that's the highest we've seen, right? Is 34? And now that we have two Merciless, we actually might be the two highest players. We'll see how it goes. We're going to keep trying our best here. No. Oh, wow. Oh. Ah. Every fire arrow, every shield bird is just death. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. Uh, I'm only 29 for some reason. Did I forget to put something on? No. Hmm. I, I think you did. Maybe. Didn't we kill a 34? Uh, no, no, I, no, I didn't. They ran away. Oh, that's right, that's right. So someone is actually higher level than us. That must mean they have merciless and or iron. But all right, so let's go back. Um, I only got three whetstones. Actually, not not a ton there, considering how much time that took. Do whetstones drop from uh, Gloomgrave? Do you know? They drop from uh, Bandit King, not Bandit King. Um, the Armory dude. Yeah, oh, ba Armory. That's right, and Bandit King. Actually, that area drops it. So yeah, well, since we're going Clive, we're gonna go through the. Arm Okay, so let's go Clive and then Grayson, and then we come back and try to make Merciless. Yeah. All right. The sooner we can get the cod and the iron cooking, like the way faster we're gonna progress. But I also want to start going for. Wait, wait. We want we want to get the grinder down. That way we can get stone bricks so we can get siege golems. Well, you've got free, free and base. That's enough to you. At least. One. All right. And then we'll just start cooking like a thousand, no, like 3,000 stone, and we'll leave that there for like the next hour, and hopefully it'll make enough bricks. Or hopefully we can make enough explosive to siege somebody and then get all of their bricks. Uh, this is what it's come down to. I want to siege players for their bricks so I can get golems to siege players for their bricks. <laughs> it's just going to be a snowball effect, and the more sieges we win and the more hearts we destroy, then the more bricks we're going to come out with. And we're just going to keep cooking those all night, guys. So that is the plan. Right now we're moving a little bit slower than in practice, but like we talked about in the pre-tournament show, it's so much different when you have PvP on your hands. And as you all have seen time and time again, I love my PvP. It doesn't matter if I have a full inventory. I want to fight. I want to risk it. If they beat me, they deserve it. Give me the loot.
All right, so the, where uh, where are the whetstones? And the metal section. Beautiful. Now we get the grinder down. Copper ingots and planks. EC. Huge. And the stones are in here. Let me just grab them. Got a lot of random other stuff as well from that run, though. Uh, let's see what we'll need for the axes anyway, gem wise. So, gem wise, we will need Ruby, which rubies, cool. which we have. Yeah, I think we even have four. Yeah, we have more than enough. So, all we need is whetstones. Yep. All right, I'm ready to uh, to waygate when you are. Do you want a ring upgrade? Um, you. Why don't you take it? What am I doing? Wow, we have a lot of wool thread already. And right, I'm gonna upgrade the castle. Specifically for the noise. <laughs> <laughs> and then we hit Palora on the way back. Do you have plenty of salve? I've got five on me. I've got seven. I think it's time for us to roll out. Yep. Um, let's see, I have, uh, I'm ready. You know what? You you should take the ring actually. The ping. Call that the ping digger ring. Jesus. That's that a day. That's a hard word to say. All right. Uh, grab your horse, and I'll grab this one down here. Where's your horse? I oh I died on it at Octavian, uh, and then I I decided not to make the same mistake, so I I just left it. The first time I die on the horse, I, the next time, I'm leaving it. You know what I mean? Fool me once, can't get fooled again. We'll see about that. We will see. Hurricane, like 20 minutes, you're gonna do it again. <laughs> I don't know, man. I feel like we're on a hot streak right now. Unless we run into somebody who has wait, wait, what? Oh, I don't like Mason. on. Um, level 32 and 29. We are absolutely competitive at the moment with the two. Night Stalker. We got really lucky for that player to be carrying that book on them. That that was me. That was my kind of fight with a full inventory and a Night Stalker book, and they still stopped to grab loot and it killed them. That is a so bad strange player right there. Yeah, what what was that about? Uh, we have the other way gauge. Should we go Grayson first. Let's go Grayson, then Clive, then Grayson. I I don't yeah. know, but that's absolutely well, something I would do. You know what? I'll play right here. A level 23 on me, no partner. Yep. Stuck in a corner as well. Slowed. Oh, wow. Slowed again. Nicely done. I should have drank that. He said, dude, dude. Madness. Madness and stupidity. Wow, he had a lot of gems and copper. Holy heck. That was actually a good kill for us right there. Uh, I'm going to kill this. I'm not really sure why. I just feel like it's in the way. Oh, this is going to be painful. Skull, skull 2 versus 1. Yeah! Tournament, baby! You get caught out here. It's a dangerous place to be alive, man. That's why I I hate when your your teammate doesn't make it. I'm not with you. Um, when your teammate's not here, it is so hard. Even splitting, like we talked about earlier, splitting for iron and cotton, you're giving up the advantage of two versus two, whereas if you're caught out by a team of two on horses, you're probably not going to survive that encounter. So you're always in danger by splitting up from your duo. Sometimes it is tactical, right? You can get more done. And what we see a lot of winning teams do is they split and go Keeley. I thought that was a player actually literally went to fight you. Um, all right, so Grayson once and then Clive and then we'll come back to Grayson and that'll give us a good chance at some books. Apparently Quincy's open. Oof. I think I'll fit this, we should check. After Grayson check? Yeah. All right. Or, I don't know, we could just keep... Yeah, you're right, we probably should check. If we could just secure the kill on it and let them fight it, I think that would be good as well. 
<laughs> he said I didn't leave his weapon. I'm giving you no copper. <laughs> Wait, did we kill Red? Nah. We killed Insane CSV. There's so many of these things on the ground. I think I'm actually gonna. I'm gonna go and Volden real quick. I'm gonna do the actual mechanic because there's so many little traps on the ground. I can't even move. That would yeah, be a cool should. ability, man. Like we talked about in the pregame show, they're bringing the great sword out. Um, in the next patch, they said I want to see a weapon that drops caltrops, like ninja claws or something ridiculous, and it just has some like insane utility where it throws caltrops. What else could it do? I don't know. I have to think about it, but uh. I don't know, they could do so much with this game. Having played Battle Right and then building this game off of that, there were a lot of characters, spells, abilities, and weapons in Battle Right. And so we have all of that ability to come and to join B Rising, which I love. Did you play that game? No, I didn't. Oh, it was so good. Yeah, I, I was watching the pre show, and when they said Great Sword, I was like, hmm. Pretty hype. How good is that gonna be? I don't know, because the sword already acts kind of like a two-handed weapon, because you spin in the circle, right? I almost feel like they should remove the whirlwind from normal sword, put it on great sword, and then give something else to great sword, but uh, or uh, normal sword. But I don't know. So much theory crafting. All right. Um. So. How many westerns you got? Quincy, eh? I only found three. Um. I have zero. <laughs> 3x loot and we can't find any whetstones. Yahoo! I need to drink something if we see anything of value. I'm curious, what book did you get? Uh, that was chest. So we actually, that was a good roll. Oh, someone made the trap base! Sylvanas with the trap base! A player on me, boss level 27. Right, oh, great hit. Great hit there. Wasted counter though. It's gonna give me a good opportunity. Oh, it's this, is, this is his partner. He's stuck for some reason. He's one shot! He's dead! Huge! No! I, I can't get it! The angel's stopping me! See if you can grab it! Wow, the angel just fucked me up! Holy shit! I gotta run. Wow, the angel just hit me for 50% of my health. I can't grab it because I can't either! I had it, but then the angel knocked me off. That is impressive. You know what would have been insane, though, is if the angel knocked me inside the base and then I died. Alright, let's just go. Whatever. <laughs> yes, he was. Uh -oh. Who is it? <laughs> it looked like Boss got stuck too. Like he tried to go in and then Sylvanas shut the door and it looked like he couldn't go in after that either. Um, I'm going to have to heal because this is probably going to be a big fight. So I'm going to have to get out of combat. Um, I'm still behind you. Maybe the daytime kind of screwed them up and we can actually get a kill on them. A player on me. It's uh, level 30. On me back here. I'm pulling off. I got to heal. Oh, that's Lucy. What's uh, what level? Alright, what's the boss 30. at? Should we choose? No, uh, well, what's the boss at? It's like 85%. Alright, then we should... Tr we should uh, I don't know. They, they look like they want to fight here, so... I think we just try to... Uh, I don't know. Not really, to be honest. Don't don't type or say anything. It's teaming. Okay. Let's just pull off. I'm gonna heal full. All right, Quincy's Quincy's has quite a bit of health left. Hmm. 
Hmm. Hmm. Pity fallen zero. We should oh. kill pity. Ready? Here comes another player as well. Axilia. Let's kill pity. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, the ult! Ah! Ah! Alright, uh, another player on his back. Alright, uh, let's just gatekeep on this side, I guess. I gotta eat something, man. My health is so low. Or my blood pool. Do you want some blood? I mean... Cost. You got it, you got full? Here comes, uh, here comes Pity again. He just wasted his, um, his space bar as well. We can get a kill here. Got him. Another player, gatekeep this one. I'm ulting, uh, I'm ulting try hard here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check, uh, I'm gonna check boss percentage. Let's keep up the pressure though. Uh, is it still about 80? Let's go for try hard in the back. To be honest, I think if we, mm, I don't know. I'm pushing, I'm pushing here, I'm pushing here. Just when we get low, pull off, right? Cause there's only one. Go for Sylvanas here. Um, after Sylvanas, Braille. Let's keep going, Sylvanas. Yep, yep. Kill all the all the lobbies, and we'll just stay. We'll gotta keep track of the boss. Careful here. Oh shit. Mm, good freeze. Uh, he's going up to the... <laughs> to be honest, I think we should just pause and just get the boss. Nah, man. We can stop a lot of teams from progressing here for almost nothing. And we have two and most of their teams don't seem to. We don't want a, le a level zero to do it. Quincy's still at 45. I'm going for the level zero in the back. He's coming out. Uh. Sylvanas. Quincy still at 40. My horse. Going for Sylvanas again, over here on the left. Hit him for 28. Nice hit. Going the other way. So many players hiding, it's wild. I'm gonna pull off a heal. Level zero here. Quincy still at 45, we have time. Oh, okay, try hard there is on me now. Okay, pull off and heal, I got you. I'm ulting in a second. I'm, I'm getting low. Pulling off to heal. I'm gonna check uh, Quincy. Yeah, Let's go up toward Quincy. Oh no way, did that hit me in my back. Quincy low, let's just pull up to Quincy and just start healing up here. All right, Quincy at about 35, we still have time. Um, what ult do you have? Wait, I can't hear you because of the in-game chat. What, uh, what ult do you have? I think we should try to ult right when a Quincy's about to die. Yeah. How much is left? Um, he's at about 15. I'm getting pretty low on blood as well. Because what I could do is Arctic leap the stairs. Yeah, Arctic leap the stairs. Yeah, yeah. As soon as I say he's dead, um, give it a second and then Arctic leap the stairs and then I will Arctic frost closer on the other side. Yeah. Or you could just drain. So that way, get the timer going. All right, he's at, uh, he's at about 12. 
My blood is so low. This is big bad. I'm just going to feed. All right, Quincy's at five. I'm low, so we're going to have to jump off a cliff. Remember the trap ace is there as well. Yeah, yeah. All right, they're all coming up here. Oh, uh, everyone's coming now. Holy crap. I'm going to ult on top of Quincy here. I'm, I'm eating him. They're freezing. I didn't. Uh, no, I got caught. You got to drink. You got to drink. I'm caught twice. I, I'm cool as well. You got to drink. Okay, I'm drinking. Jeez, I'm I so might die here. I'm dead. Holy. No, we misplayed that absolutely somehow. We got the boss. We got the boss. We got the boss. Did you die? No. Uh, see if you can. Uh, I've got the book on my body. Oh, you jumped away? All right, just just leave, just leave. Wow, we're lucky we got the boss there. <laughs> uh, I drank a I drank a random monster that was next to Quincy instead of Quincy. Everyone else is just battling, man. God, a lot of players got that. Okay, so uh, did, do you have whetstones? No, no, leave, 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 leave. No, no, I was I was further away. Unless you got the book. Good freezes all the way across the board. That was wild. I got twelve wet stones. Okay, so that's enough to start farming uh, cotton and iron, and we're in a yeah. beautiful spot now. Uh, we actually have spare sets in the bank, so really didn't lose anything. Jeez. That's. Oh my god, the door's closed. Copper ingots to finish our Night Stalker. Merciless. Oh, we are so good. Oh, the iron's already cooking as well. Uh, okay, I've got two people on me. Just leave if you can. Oh, they got Clive. Okay, I'm not getting down. Oh, uh, yeah, the double space fire. Why'd you come back? Yeah. I thought your loot was still there. Mm, I should have told you not to come back then. I wasn't looking at the map. I was just watching them all fight. Alright, I'll be back in just a second. I'm pretty much ready to go. Oh, you don't have the whetstones. Oh, no. no Man, the, the whetstones and the night stalker vest really hurt us there, to be honest. No, we've got another set and enough to make more. I mean, um, as far as not being able to make the merciless, now we can't, uh, now we can't get cotton and iron. I'm gonna actually put on Merciless Charge here. I think it's a really good ult. Um, hmm. All right, so we have, oh, we need Clive. So let me see what we have in the bank. We've got copper. All we need for you is the Night Stalker set. Which, we've got which the we mats have for. the mats for, yep. That's Night Stalker full. And then we'll have enough copper as well for Merciless. Dang, those arctic leaves from <laughs> so many. We actually don't have enough copper in it either um, to get you the merciless, but I'll be back in just a moment and then I'm gonna do a giveaway. So I'll be back in a sec.
All right, everyone, we are back and we're going to do our first giveaway. So thank you all for tuning in and for joining the giveaway. I'm going to give out one copy right now of the DLC or V Rising base game of your choice. And we'll be keeping that giveaway open all weekend and we'll be continuing to give things away as the day progresses. So thank you all for tuning in and hanging out. This has been an interesting start to the tournament. Absolutely wild kill there on Quincy. I'm sure there are some teams who didn't manage to get it due to the sheer amount of Arctic leaps that were popping off. But now we are coming up and into Iron and Cop as well and that's going to bring us into t2 and then we've got a nice little plan set out for t2 so we're going to try to kill clive and Pelora really fast after we get some cotton and iron we just need a few more whetstones unfortunately the double deaths there was very very bad um i shouldn't have told my teammate to come back or i should have been watching to make sure my loot was gone um i didn't actually realize he was coming back so we kind of screwed up there um a lot considering we lost our merciless copper axe essentially but it's only going to take a few whetstones to get back to where we were. So just a lot of PvP, and now a lot of people are going to be into Tier 2. So going on to the giveaway, this is the first giveaway coming up. Everyone is welcome to join. We already have 40 unique entries. So I'm going to draw this first one. First we'll announce it. And then we'll give it just a moment. And then we'll be all the way up and out, looking for a few more wet zones and getting into tier two. Very, very dangerous play there for me. <laughs> Dying on Quincy, there were so many Arctic leaps. Someone said their computer froze. There were so many Arctic leaps. All right, so the first entrance is going to be Andrew Poro. Congratulations. You have won the first giveaway. Please whisper me on Twitch with your choice of either the DLC or the V Rising base game. And the next giveaway will be coming up after our first siege. All right, man, I am ready to roll. How you feeling? Good, good, just went toilet. All right, so the gear chest has got your copper mace and ring, and then I've got your full Night Stalker on the bench. Let's get some rats going, and then we need some whetstones and some more copper, and then we'll be into Merciless Copper and off to the races toward iron and cotton. So we need Beatrice and iron and cotton now, really. Clive would be nice, but it's secondary, I think. Mm -hmm. I agree. So we could go Beatrice now. Yep, we so could go Beatrice that now. We could that will probably also give us copper and uh, maybe cotton from the chest inside the village. Oh uh, no, not really paying attention here. We need some bones in the uh, the brazier, the mist maker. I need to add an admin really fast. All right. All right, we've got one more admin coming in, guys, and they're going to be spectating and also doing a stream for the siege windows only. So this will be content creator Red Laugh coming in to join the admin team. All right, um, so Beatrice, right? And then we try to hit copper nodes and then we need to find some whetstone. Damn, I'm so lucky you managed to drink that because I was frozen for hours right there. Yeah, I saw I managed to space bar. <laughs> I was talking about gatekeeping and then I'm the one who did that. We're both the ones who died. Yeah, we nearly got gatekeeped ourselves. Okay, Beatrice is right here. All right, let's just full clear the village. We need all the drops. And then the chest will give us all the loot we need for Hollow Fang. Maybe we get a Twilight Snapper as well. Oh, that was bad. Oh, that's so bad. I just got on fire. Oh, so did I. I do no damage to these at all.
Add him in a heal. And we'll push into the buildings. Do you need blood? No, I just got some. Okay. I'm already clearing like, All right. the back entrance. Come to where I am. All right, one second. Killing some mobs here. This is like a serious battle because we don't have the, we don't have merciless fool or night stalker. Uh, merciless fool. All right, feeling good. Mm, so we probably have enough stones by now, so we just need to hit a couple gems and then grab the scourge stone and we can start getting We can start getting our first golem Jeez, you scared the shell. Hello uh, Beatrice oh. is in a really good spot. I'm gonna start attacking her Yeah, this is a great spot. <laughs> I wonder if we're the first team to have Beatrice. Yeah, we would be. Go the other way. There we go. Nice pathing and positioning here. This is a wonderful Beatrice kill for us. Amazing. Loot the houses, hopefully get enough whetstones for merciless copper axes, and then we just get, uh, we take turns getting cotton. One gets cotton, one gets whetstones. Yeah. All right. Pretty sure whetstones can drop here, right? I don't know. Oh, watch out, Christina's roaming out the... Um, ah, that action. would be such a good kill right now as well. I don't know if we're high enough, though. That one's probably not worth it. No, not right now. We also gotta be careful, because we don't have enough copper to make another set, so let's try to keep our healths full. Yeah, I'm full HP. Twilight Snapper, we should go back and get Rat. We're uh, after as soon as we're done full clearing this. <laughs> also, just just heads heads up. A lot of the stuff I say is mostly for myself, because I'm just trying I'm trying to be a better player. But it's it's hard. It's so hard to counteract like years of just fighting everybody. It's all oh yeah, we got chat. Man, chat popping off. Thank you guys for the tips, the likes, and the love. As always, the constructive criticism. I seriously appreciate it. I did have rats on me there, so I didn't have to worry about blood. Um, I probably would have never remembered that. But it didn't end up mattering. Because we got full wiped at Quincy. Uh, still worth it, though. The fact that we got Quincy, to me, is worth the deaths. And I think a lot of other teams probably wiped there as well. Yeah, there was quite a few dead bodies. I'm gonna get the next bricks going. Um, wow, we need more grinders for sure, so we will need more whetstones for that as well. I didn't get any whetstones there. Neither did I. Alright, let's get rad for him. We could make our own whetstones. 
Stones and bones. Oh, there should be, yeah, they're in the alchemy. I've got some. Uh, we'll need fish bones. Um, how many? Uh, I think eight. I'm not, I can't remember. Let me check. This will be good for defense as well. I saw uh, Nero do that to make them vermin things and then just have a bunch of these lined up. A bunch of uh, put putrid rats. Mm. All right, we need four fish bones and eight grave dust. If we have any grave dust, we might have to make a uh, church run. Uh, we could just chuck the bones into the grinder. Let's also, um, let's actually use some of this stone just to make sure we're not explosively siegeable. Because there has to be teams who have enough explosives by now. And we only have to cover one wall, so we should be fine. Beautiful. Boom. All right, we are unsiegeable with explosives. Do we have fish bones? Mm, I thought we did. Well, I can't find any right now. Thank you, chat. You guys are honestly the best. Sorry, we are on a 10 minute delay, so it's oh, hard yeah, for me to read those sometimes. Here. There's what? 12, right here. All right, then we just need grave dust, which we can make with bones. But uh, let's just go, um, let's go, uh, let's go monastery. Before we do that. Uh... Oh, wait, wait, here's grave dust. No, no, okay, yeah, grave dust. Um. Hmm. Ah, uh, get some salves. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna make a run over there. Where are you going? I'm gonna go monastery super fast. Or should I go Octavian? I don't know. Like we need whetstones the most, but it doesn't yeah, seem like we can really go. find them that well here. No, let's go to Octavian, then. Monastery, mm -hmm. and then we can start farming cotton and everything else. Because we put beaches on timer, so give us time to leave the area. And if we could get those all done, we can start gatekeeping. Okay, good idea. Two chests here, militia camp. Man, I was sure all of this dropped whetstones. Maybe whetstones mostly just a tier one item. Man, we need Clive for that double jump. I got six Twilight Snappers. Uh, let me see. There might be a team fighting over here to the east. No. Never mind. Graphical glitch. My wall hacks aren't working. <laughs> All right, guys. We are trying our best to get some whetstone here. Unfortunately, that whetstone was a big drawback. We're now about 15 minutes behind in our iron and cotton farm, but otherwise we're doing very well. I usually don't even fight this stuff. I just try to get all the chests, but... Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Just breaking all the barrels. 81% rogue up here, though. Oh, I got hit. Shit. Retreat. There's whetstones. Finally. Yeah, I've got six on me right now. I six. got six as well. Um, is that you with the bell ringer? Did you just go south? No, I left. 
I need it to heal or go hit by a fire arrow. Okay, I don't see anybody. Thought for sure someone was here though. Alright, so I've got nine wet stones. That is a pretty good start. So that's enough for the one, but I think we need one more drop. Guy on me? Oh, coming. Uh, he, he pulled off. He's pretty low. I instantly ulted as though he was coming around the corner, but he didn't go around the corner, so that saved us. Um, Alright, I'm just going to go back to base with this whetstones. Uh, I have nine, and you have six. That's 15. That's enough for the first weapon. One of us gets caught, and the other gets whetstones. Or should we try yeah, to kill this guy that's in here? He doesn't have copper though, I'm not even sure it'd be worth our time. No, it's not. We got what we needed. Alright. Peel off. Let's go, brother. We got wars to win. Oh wait, that ends. <laughs> did the same thing. You know what? Here, here, grab take the loot off me. I'm going to... oh wait, never mind. No, no, no. All right. It's fine. Check for, for Burke here, wait, careful. Um, or one of us, could, no, we both need Clive. I might take Wolf Snare over Corpse Explosion. Or maybe both? Where am I? Did I miss base? Almost. No. Nope. Alright, so now's the time we gotta be looking out for people getting Cotton as well. Mm -hmm. Cotton and Beatrice would be big, and Iron. Crazy thing is, I don't think a lot of people have a weapon to farm it. Maybe what, like two, three groups, maybe? Alright, we got salves for days. Plenty of fish as well from when we get our prisoner. Alright, so. Hmm. Alright, it's 20 here. Let me bring the rubies. I'll put the wet stones in. You know, we don't have enough copper for the axe. We have one axe already built in a chest. Oh, that's right, we looted one from someone. That just saved us. Yeah. Alright, so I will get cotton. Why don't you get scourge stone? And or wet stones. We don't need any more wet stones for now, do we? Mm, well, we we want more grinders. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I have to grab some of those. Um, right, I'm going to leave a stack of salves in the bank and then I'm going to head out to, uh, to get the cotton. Okay, cool. So cotton and copper will make the thing that we need. So we need more copper as well for the, uh, the looms. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll just wait to Octavian. Okay, and we want to start getting the siege golems ready at this point. So scourge down, whetstone, copper. Oh man, this cotton farm sucks. There's like six cotton plants here. It's out of the way, so I don't think anybody will come here. But wow, this one has no cotton. Yeah, but it's three times loot. So it is. Oh, true. I mean, five hundred from one. I should probably swap out for a worker buff as well. I mean, if we 
could get Vince out, I could go ahead and uh, 100% work up that, that, uh, that area. Can we kill Vincent right now? No. Mm. If I had water of the dam, I could do it. Right. All right, I'm in cotton gathering mode. I'll make a call out if someone gets on me so we can maybe swap. I don't know if you'll be able to get there in time, but you never know. No, I would not be able to. So I'll be on the other side. Thankfully, I think most teams won't send two people, so it'll either be a 1v1, or I can just run. Also getting sunflowers for our first necklace. Oh, I completely forgot about that. Yeah, I'm getting some sulfur right now. This is beautiful, man. We're making very good progress. We're two hours into the tournament. We're about to be in 2-2 gear. That is pretty great progress. I think we're definitely up there with the top teams. Yeah, everyone, I mean, the highest we saw was what, 34? Hey, Poro, I hear you, man. I will send you that code as soon as possible. It's probably gonna be on the next break, but no worries. Even if you didn't whisper me, I would be whispering you. Trust me, you'll get your code. Um, I always do the giveaways and I always whisper people um, or just send it to you via Discord. Either way, you'll get it. I have 10 codes, guys, so absolutely no worries. We're going to be doing three or four giveaways probably today and then three or four tomorrow as well. So we'll keep the stream going and the giveaways going. And we're just having a really good time. One Brain Cell is an awesome teammate trying to keep us on track despite me constantly <laughs> throwing and getting us into some intense PvP, even with full inventory. Telling him to come back to get my gear in the middle of like five skulls fighting big bad call out but uh it's all good man it's all good it's, it's all good. good we're back we got the merciless copper we're hanging out and now we have already 2500 cotton so 2500 cotton um that's probably enough honestly for two full sets of hollow fang so as long as we get some looms up and running and then i go get a little bit of iron I think we'll be in T2 full, and then we're on the way to Clive, Palora, Christina, Vincent. So we're going to make a big come up once we get iron, and we're probably going to be in a great position to PvP a lot of players as well. Obviously, the gear differential between iron and copper is going to make basically make it so the iron players can always win that fight, I would say, unless you just really aren't doing very well. Yeah, unless you just straight throw. All right, productions, refinements. Uh, oh, we need ingots, not a normal. Oh yeah, so we need we need copper. I'm gonna make another chest just because uh, I'm so full of loot. Yeah, we're so. quite stuck. This is why I want to raid. I think people would just have so much weird stuff stacked up right now. Uh, all right, so I got a lot of cotton. Now what do we need? We need iron, and I have 100 stacks, so I can get it. It's just going to be risky. Wait, you got 100 stacks? Yeah, I got 100 what? stacks of garlic. Oh, garlic. Yeah, it kind of tied down right now. I mean, I could just grab the weapon and... Grab True. We can swap. I cannot find a single copper though. I can go for the copper mine and put on like worse gear so that way it doesn't matter if I die. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's actually pretty good. Cool. Wow, the iron nodes give so much. One iron node gave 300. I can also just look for loose nodes. We really don't need that many to get iron full. 
remember you're on 100 stacks, so mm -hmm. don't fight. I'm just going to be, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> don't try to beat that into my skull. All right, I'm Chat just looking for random iron fight. nodes. At 300 iron per node, that means we really only need six or eight nodes to have full iron weapons and backup weapons. And since we have four furnaces, it won't take too, too long to get them going. Uh, we can go Clive. No, I don't know. I don't know if we should go out when I have 100 stacks. I probably no, should have let you take it, but I didn't realize I was at 100 already. It's all good. Um, how's it going over there? Are you getting some Scourge Stone or Whetstones? Um, I tried to go get some Whetstones, but no luck. I'm going to go for more all right. Scourge Stones. I'm going to get some gems as well, and then uh, probably the first thing I'm going to make is the Golem Cooker. And then I think we should start getting the golems cooking because we'd have the first one by about 7 p.m. And then we could start sieging. Yeah, yeah, I agree. So much um, gem dust. You know what? I'm actually going to go do a naked run of this time. All right. My only thought is that if you go in like partial gear, you might catch somebody else there who's, you know, trying to do it and then you could actually kill them. This is actually a good play because it's 3x. Just getting random copper and iron nodes and gems is going to bring us all the way to the top. Man, I'm excited to get iron quick. That is going to make us PvP young gods. Yeah, we're not even too far off. Um, I'm actually gonna go back to base and get some of this iron cooking because we're really not that far. I believe that was the very first Quincy kill, so like we're for sure on par with all the top teams. And there was <laughs> there was at least ten teams there though. That was a lot of people at Quincy. Dude, I, I reckon it was less than ten. You think so? Yeah, because remember it's duo, so if there was ten people, it's probably what like five, six teams, maybe. Mm. maybe yeah, there were a lot of solos for sure. Let me see how much uh, stone brick we have. I believe by this point, oh, we need more grinders for sure. And then we can get, uh, honestly, multiple golems up and running. Or maybe since I have stacks, I should do the Scourge Stone run. Uh, I'm already pretty much near the monastery right now. All right, but you yeah, grab that, know. and I will keep looking for assorted nodes. And listening, I got my ears open for Beatrice. Yeah, I'm surprised no one's went for that. Quincy's been down for a bit now. Maybe they're fighting, to be honest. Or they're just quietly off in a corner. You know what? A lot of teams probably still need Clive. And a lot of teams are probably just off doing random side things like we are. They probably recognize the fact that we don't need that much stuff. Or since it's 3x, how many teams do you think went Silverlight and they're just looting the back, right? Because that drops actual iron bars at the docks. Sure. Either way, we are in a beautiful, beautiful spot. I've got all the furnaces cooking up iron. I've gotten tons of sulfur. It sucks uh, our Merciless was Axis, though. It's like the worst for getting uh, minerals. Oh, just go. Damn. PvP, though, or PvE? PvE. Okay. Go hit in the back. Honestly, I kind of want to make way, way more, way more furnaces. If we got 10 furnaces up and running, that would be pretty massive. 
I think that'll be a waste, to be honest. Well, it depends how long we have to wait. At, with four furnaces going, we're only getting one bar every, or four bars every couple minutes, and we need like 70 bars. Oh. And we can always break them down. Yeah, yeah. Madness. Madness and stupidity. Madness and stupidity. Absolutely. Let's go, fams. Oh yeah, north of Octavian, there's a nice jewel base, all wooden still. Hmm. Is it one airlock though? Because we need four bombs per, per wood wall slash airlock, so it would get pretty intense. We would need a lot of bombs. No, you just get breach timer, then you could... You can't, time. you don't You don't get breach timer on bombs. Oh, you, oh yeah, you don't. Yeah. Yeah, they had a few wooden walls, not worth it though. I feel like you should though, I don't... You should get a breach timer. Maybe for the future. Madness. Madness. Thank you guys stupidity. for the follows, the likes, and the love. We are absolutely out here with our partner. Genuinely making some big progress. We had a pretty even amount of wins to losses so far. No, we have way more wins. Oh yeah, we do. We do have way more. Nice. The two losses that we took, I, I felt in my soul. Yeah, you're right. We got uh, we've got way more wins than losses, and we're feeling good. We're on the way to iron, which I believe is going to put us probably in a top three or four position very very quickly. And since we already have most of our cotton and all of our iron, realistically, we're definitely going to be on the come up here. Unfortunately, we are in the gather refine stage of the game. And because I have so many cotton stacks, we're going to be spending a little bit of time just gathering. But after that, I think we're going to be in a good position to full clear tier 2 and tier 1. So we'll probably be doing a Nikolaus, Pelora, Clive, Vincent, Christina, Leandra. All in the next hour, I would say. And before we go out, we're going to try to get one golem crafting. And so tonight we will be sieging 100%, guys. We're gonna, we plan on having four, if not five, golems here in the next three or four hours. So we're going to make multiple golem crafting stations. And we're going to get them cooking. It takes 45 minutes each. But for every player we siege, if we can actually win that siege, and I think because we have iron, we're going to be in a good spot. We're going to be able to zero out a lot of players and teams and take all of their loot. And that is going to put us into a very good spot and put them into a horrible spot. And like I mentioned earlier... Probably we're going to be getting as much from sieging as it's going to cost us, if not more. But mainly, it, we're going to be getting some content, and me and one are going to be just screaming in voice comms. <laughs> we're coming! Give us the loot! Be screaming. It's 2 a.m. for me. Oh, true, true, well, true. true. Nearly. I forgot. I always forget uh, the time difference. Even Barami mentioned it. He said all of uh, the entire dev studio was sleeping. Oh yeah, they're EU based, huh? Yeah, they're Sweden. God, these stacks take ages to come off. We might just have to go and then you fight, like... I don't know, you fight Clive and I just gatekeep and just, like, harass or something. How much stacks you got left? I still have 65. Jesus. Who do we need to kill for our tier 2 cloak? Was, isn't that Beatrice? Yeah, that was Beatrice. Oh, we need the tailoring thing down then. So I got to get the looms up and running so we can get the yarn, so we can get the tailoring bench, and that'll get that'll help me reduce stacks. I've never done this before. It's so fun. Every tournament I run into something new, but I've never just randomly, like, walked through the world looking for, you know, copper and iron instead of just going to the actual mine. But it's pretty much just as efficient, and it almost guarantees we won't get PvP. Yeah, 
Yeah, usually I like to, like when I usually play solo, I just go do main objectives and pick up, you know, a node or two here while I'm traveling in between. And you never have to go to copper mines or anything like that. I like copper mines. I feel like there's always PvP there, and the corruption makes fighting there a lot of fun. It's like a little dance. It just burns so much of your health off. If you get hit by it, you're just, it's over. Alright, so we need 28 cotton yarn. Wow, we already almost have enough, to be honest. We, we don't even need the looms. I mean, I'm going to put them down, but realistically, it seems like you can just loot a lot of it. We should still put at least two down. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting a lot down, to be honest, but... All right, we've got plenty of iron coming up, lots of copper. We are on the way. I am about to get back to base. Got 18 scope stones, so that's what a golem. That's one golem, yeah. So I think we should get that cooking, for sure. You don't have the blood for it. Oh, I forgot it needs blood. No! Yeah, we need the greater bloods. Oh no, that means we need Tristan. Yeah, that's why Tristan's on the list. Wait, 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 greater bloods, isn't that unsullied? Unsullied, yeah. Well, we, I think we have enough then. Oh no, it's 14, right? 14, 16. No, that's a hell of a lot. Alright, that's actually going to put a little bit of a damper on that one. <laughs> no. Son of a god. All right, we need to we need to farm some bosses up so we can kill Tristan then, cause we need eye level. Um, I think we just go for bosses now. Yeah. Despite the stacks, we've got plenty of iron cooking, a lot of cotton cooking as well. Um, you know what you need is, uh, you need your Merciless. What nah. do we, I don't know though, if we get more copper and we get these looms going faster, wouldn't it be better to wait? Because we'd be like level 40. Yeah. I was just about to say that there's no need to upgrade Merciless anymore. Hmm. I just want to fight. I know you do. I want to fight so fight. bad, I do not want to wait. I don't even want to wait for my cotton stacks. That's the worst part. All right, so we have enough for one more loom. Twenty-five. Um. I think someone's at Beatrice. I also thought I heard go, that. Go, go. Yeah. You ready? Go, go, go. Here, take the go, axes. Go, go. Take the axes since I have stacks. Dr uh, drop your mace for me. You have salve? Yeah. Alright, let's roll. Uh, they just ran to the left. I think they got knocked. I think they're over here by me somewhere. What kind of redeeming magic is this? What? Up here to the left, I think? Yeah, I hear him. I hear him up to the left. They're there. Oh, yeah. For sure, this is cotton, though. This is cotton care. They just used their Q. I'm jumping. I'm in ult here. Oh, they all went. Oh, he wasted his Q, though. Got him. Teammates here? 
Nice yeah. kill, nice kill. I think we chase clap here. Oh no, no, he got away. That's right. Oh, huge, a huge pickup. What did you end up getting? Grave digger ring there, merciless night soccer vest, uh, merciless copper spear. Actually, is very very big. Oh, see, there's a hundred percent worker. Back right on us. Um, yeah, well, we'll literally leave it because if we get win. All right. <laughs> Uh, hopefully we, they don't stream snipe our uh, our hundred percent work. A hippo ray, what's going on, man? Midnight Nation, boys, we out here. The merciless five hundred dollar duos cash cup is well underway. This base is just proved it's worth absolutely. We heard Beatrice <laughs> asking for help, and the help has arrived. Picking up a massive kill there. That was two thousand cotton, and the merciless copper spear. Those players are feeling the burn. It would have been so, so great to get both there. Unfortunately, uh, one <laughs> did get on the horse and get away. Uh, well played on that guy's part, but uh, picking up the first one was very, very massive. They did a good job there of sticking together for the most part. Um, really didn't expect there to be two. Kind of thought they would do what we did. But that is going to give us way more than enough cotton to finish all of our sets. Now we just need a bit more copper to get more looms. We need way, way more looms just churning the stuff out. Beautiful sets. Um, I'm going to keep the Merciless Mace on me for the jump. See, the thing is, I, my Q flew over the second guy. I saw that I with the axes. Yeah, 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 I saw that. I think it was just the uh, the differential of the, um, like the little yeah, valley. The yeah. yeah, but that's all right. A uh, couple of copper, copper ingots as well. Unless I brought ours out with us, which I did. <laughs> Top ten player. All right, we have enough for one more loom. Oops. Don't care, score jump up. Especially with this, 36, yeah, we're in a very, very good spot. Wait, what the hell did you go off them? Um, I think we only need one sawmill now, right? Yeah. Could throw one of them away. We don't really need this anymore, do we? What's that, the workbench? Yeah. Well, if we die, we will need Merciless. So, yeah, we... I'm not we'd... planning to die. I'm not planning to either, but it's better to be prepared. <laughs> Damn, we're getting cocky out here. I like it. All right, a thousand more cotton. Um, I think we may have enough for the tailoring bench now. 28 cotton yarn. Yes, we do. Another step forward, man. I wish we had floors. That'd be so nice. Uh, we need seven more. Iron ingots for the weapon. I mean, Smith. All right, let's head to Clive. Um, I'm gonna make the tier two cloak real quick to help me fall stacks off. Um, let's see. Let's move this. I don't know. <laughs> yes. Let me disorganize your castle really quick. Uh, look out really fast. Where is border? There we go. All right. All right. So hollow fang is cotton leather. I mean, if we waited a little bit, we would definitely have that. But uh, I guess we'll just let these cook for now. Yeah, just let it cook. I need three more cotton yarn, and I would have a cloak, and that would help us drop stacks. I'm pretty useless with this amount of stacks. You got salves, you got everything else we need? Yep, I'm ready to go, just... 
don't need this many tanneries. Anymore. Dang, I hate that we need Tristan. That's going to make it very hard to siege today. Mm. A little bit, but not too much. Get the free least get one golem. Mm, Six thirty. What level is Tristan? Can can we get him now? If we go if we go Clive Flora forty six, I think we could beat that. To be honest, it would be a fight though. I I'd rather be a lot stronger because it's in tier one. Right. So well, if we go Clive Flora, and then we come back, let's see Clive, Flora, yeah. Then we come back. We should have enough for for Hollow Fang. Yeah. And then we then go we Tristan, and then we can siege. Dang, I underestimated it. I thought for sure we'd just have four, four or five golems rolling out. I always forget yeah, one maybe. little key ingredient, but that's right. We're still going to siege today. We'll just have to choose our target a little bit better. Yeah, when you said four and five, I'm like, man, underestimating this? What's going on? That's usual, to be honest. Normal. All right, 10 seconds and we roll out. My stacks are almost off as well. Time to get into some fights. We're also very close to iron. Yeah, we only need seven to put the smithery down. So yeah, by the time we do that, we have all the iron, hollow fang, and we're in tier two. All right, let's go. Time for battle, brother. All right, guys, we have been out of PvP for a little while. Thankfully, we got a little taste right there on a nice duo that had garlic sacks and tons of cotton. Very similar fight to us. Um, I think they went, their horses are over here. Yeah. And then we're going to teleport down there, so. Is it back there? Well, we know they're going for cotton, and we know they're going for Beatrice, so. I don't even see any horses. Where are I will we'll grab one by the teleporter. Alright. So now we are back on track, nearly into iron and hollow fang full, and then we we're gonna be tier two gods trying to pick up some bosses. The only thing we would have to worry about is losing that set to another equally geared team. But if we could get their set, then the trade would be just gorgeous. Looking for some big kills and some call outs. Oh <laughs> no, he already has three shards. Um, and on the next break, guys, we're going to do another giveaway, and then we're also going to take a moment to dig through the team roster and take a look at some of the teams that are going to be here in the tournament today. We've got some familiar names as well as some new ones. There's a golden chest. Is that worth going for? I think I need blood anyway, to be honest. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for it. Oh, the fire. Did you get hit? I did. Oh. I'm gonna drink that last one. Wait, wait. Oh. Yeah, nice. Nice. Good stop. Alright. So that means we don't really need any more grinders since we're not gonna have enough, uh, we're not gonna have enough hearts anyway, so we don't need like a million stone bricks like I thought we would. Was 
isn't that great. All right. Um, well, do we drop everything and then teleport down there, or do we ride and try to get fights? Uh, bell ringer. Oh, Beatrice. Beatrice once again. It's like stream sniping. Ah, oh, they're in this. They're in this building right here. There's two. It's Parker and Slinky. Hit both. I ulted Parker. Oh, I got stuck. Come here. No. They're trying to run. I think he's gonna get stuck on that side. Okay, he's off the horse. Okay, coming back. Nice ult. That's definitely gonna get him. He's stuck in here. Big Good kill. Team. I think Slinky just straight ran. Disengage, disengage. Okay. Way too many mobs. Let's just reset them. Okay, I killed him. Got all the loot, coming out. Bad lad. Good fight. This base is hot, man. Uh, wow, Merciless Night Sucker Leggings, a Merciless Fool! Um, oh yeah, that was the only Merciless piece he had. It's all good. What level are you now? Like, 38? 35. Oh, 38, yeah, I've got the, uh, the mace on. Yep. Beautiful ult, I got him right on the corner, that was huge. Pretty sure that puts you to like top. Uh, we need a devourer so I can devour some of this night stalker. Um, you know what? Let's start at putting you into Hollow Fang. Uh, you make the devourer. I'll get the Hollow Fang up and running. Do we First have piece hollow? coming. Do we have what? Honestly, it's almost worth just sitting here and gatekeeping. Cuz they have to go for, they have to go for if they want hollow bang. Yeah, that's why I said, you know, good place to gatekeep. Fact. That was a really good call out. I'm sticking the devourer here. I've got enough iron to build the smith. Oh, we need to go tag right now. We need sulfur to build the... Oh, the iron. Tree. Yeah, that's right. Mm. Okay. All right, here's the plan. Kill Beatrice mm -hmm. to put her on a timer so that way we could leave. <laughs> I, I don't know. That's That's a lot of time. I mean, it stops one team a little bit, but wouldn't we gain more by just going straight to Clive, or is it worth it for us to kill Beatrice, do you think? It could be worth it. All right, your Hollow Fang chest is in here, and your legs are coming up. We have one minute. Let's go kill Beatrice while we wait for your final piece. Big gatekeeping, big PvP. Even getting one of each team is crippling. That means they got to go all the way back to base, recraft everything, and then come... Yeah. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna look for her. Plus, we we can use the loot anyway, to be honest. Cause this drops actual cotton, so we could actually get you into Hollow Fang full. Do you see her in there? I don't see her. Maybe he they came back and got her. No, I think so. This is also very dangerous, though. I'm like on fire. I've got a ton of mobs on me. Yeah, I try not to <laughs> aggro the whole place. Is that her? I think Is I heard her. Yeah, it's me in the back, but I just heard her yelling for guards. Uh, 
Uh, I hate when you miss the counter and you eat every ability after that. Yeesh! That's weird. I don't see her. I, I think we just go Clive then. Alright. Grab your last piece, then Clive, and we go. Maybe they, uh, maybe they push her out after that, right? It only takes one person to move her. Ah, we can't get them all, but we can get some. Oh, might as well pick up horses. All right, so back to base. Yeah. Then Clive, then Polora. I feel like we're way behind on our sheet, but we just can't help it. We've gotten a lot of really good fights tonight. Oh, true. Someone in chat just said castle walls and, and floors is 25% faster. True. We're, we don't have anything confined. That is a really great call out. And we, we can use the bricks now to make that happen since we're not going to be able to get uh, the siege goal many time soon. Really, really good call I say, out. I, I, I say we do that once we get what we need. True. I mean, it's going to be it's going to be doing it while we're gone anyway. So, yeah, yeah. you're right. You're right. That is definitely a good call, though. That is a really good call. Thank you, chat. Massive come up right there on that call out. Uh, we will get that happening as soon as we get home. Jeez. Why did we, oh yeah, the hollow plank. Yeah, and then we're ready to go. All right, I am uh, jumping off the back. I'm gonna grab a horse and then let's let's roll. We're so close to being done with T1. So we're gonna do what? Clive, Pelora, Nikolaus, and then we don't have to go back to T1 at all. Then so Christina, Tristan. Vincent. Yeah, yeah, Tristan. Oh, wait, I, I could completely make myself go. Oh, that, was, that was bad. That's 15 seconds. All right, I'm just going to go find a fast horse because mine's a nine. Very, very good place so far. Nice call outs. Very good spot. We're definitely the top or second team right now. Eight point six. Dang! After that first horse, I've just had bad RNG. I cannot, I cannot get a fast horse. Uh, player on me, level forty-one actually. Probably gonna need some help uh, here. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to run away though if I can. Yeah, try stalling a little bit. Two. I'm, uh, I'm ulting. I'm coming toward you. I'm very far away though. I'm right here. Okay. I'm pretty low, I'm gonna pull out, and I don't have an ult. I think we should run here. I've got ult. Ah, uh, they got flies. I'm up. probably gonna die, dude. Really? I'm, I'm doing awful, yeah. I need to peel bad, this guy's still on his horse. Uh, are you coming, can you ult them? I'm dead, I'm dead, just leave. Ah. Oh. Oh man, I countered twice and neither one knocked him off the horse. It's kind of baffling. I guess the counter should be a bit larger. Mm, absolutely okay, smoked on that one. Yee-hoo-hoo! -hoo. So that was uh, Night Stalker and one Merciless Copper. Not huge, but they're definitely ahead of us now. I mean, that wasn't even your set. Yeah, true, but uh, now we gotta wait for the cotton to finish so I can get Night Stalker.
Dang, even like two seconds out of base is still too far in a two v one. Oh, they're they're going for uh they're going for Beatrice. Um. Well, there's a whole other set of knights of uh, just normal knight sucker here in copper. Let's just uh, let's just roll out. Yeah. Try to get them. They might not have even have gone home, right? They might think that we're further. Okay, I'm ready. You want to grab the horse? Yeah, I was just thinking that. Grab some salves. I got salves. I have everything. I think I'm gonna swap to Arctic Leap. They're still in here. Oh, I thought that hit you. Oh. Nice. I don't see him anywhere. Uh, you know what? Let, let's. We're getting a little sidetracked. I know you want revenge, but we Clive. That double dash is. True, too good. true, true, true. There's, yeah, I literally couldn't get away because I didn't have double dash, or slashers. All right, let's uh, let's go then. I mean, it would be nice if we can catch someone off here. This is a great spot for catch, but let's just go. Yeah. All right, to the teleporter as we originally had intended to, and then we'll be coming up, hopefully, into a Clive Flora, and then when we get back, there should be enough cotton for a Night Stalker full, and then we'll be up to where they were, which is 41. No, we'd be higher because we will have Iron Weapon and also everything else. True. So that little setback is really nothing. It was even now was set. Fact. I mean, if we come back and can get iron, uh, I'm gonna go Grace, and I think it's faster. And then we just go west from there. Yeah. Dang, we're getting a lot of PVP, especially at Beatrice. That is a beautiful base. Uh, base location. I almost wonder if it's worth moving though after T2. Did, would you go Silverlight? There's 100% uh, right there, 100% Brute. What the, which one? Uh, the Spear Thrower in the back. Oh. I uh, guess go full cheese. Oh my god, 100% Brute! Let's go! Nice copper. I see copper, I hit copper. No, we need it. That's a good call. Honestly, we should probably do Clive, Pelora, Copper Mine. This is a late Clive now. Or at least there won't be. I won't be super crowded, yeah. Although, I don't know, man. We've been doing pretty well. So there could easily be more people here. Am I going the wrong way? No, you went the right way. I went the wrong way. I'll meet you over there. Oh. Yeah. Here's Tristan. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe after Nikolaus. Dang, 100% Brute is insane amount of leech. I'm just getting all my health back instantly. Yeah, I'm just farming up some of the barrels and stuff around here. 
I forgot this place drops sweatstones. How is it going? That's uh, going fine. Yeah, I'm getting him slowly but surely. He's got a lot of health. I should probably should let you solo him since you're way higher level, but. Oh, yeah. That's right. You can just get soul for it. Get all the mobs. Get all the wet zone. We'll be in a good spot. I also probably should have put Chaos Volley on, to be honest. Yeah, you could switch out now, though. Truth? Yeah, my counter is doing nothing on this fight. Yeah, it kind of is. I love how I'm just hitting so. <laughs> hey, we need it! We'll need it for the alchemy lab and the forge. Alright, he's down. Alright. Find him. That's the jump, and then I'll run Corpse Explosion Man, and the Snare Man, Wolf. Zenry, thank stupid. you for the follow. Everybody, I really appreciate you guys all tuning in and hanging out. All right, um, hold on. Here, Merciless take Copper Mace there. as well. Here, take, take this gear, sir, because I've shut up Polaris. Wait, what? So you fight Polaris, because... Ah, oh, that's right, that's right, that's right. All right, let me drop you mine. Brew, Ferocity, Merciless Copper Mace. These are some good drops. Tons of whetstones, lots of sulfur. Um, if we go back to base, we can start the letting the, the sulfur cook. But all right, I'll head up to Plora. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait for you. I feel like it only takes yeah, two yeah, seconds yeah, to get evaporated. pretty good right yeah yeah after we kill Polora hollow fang and iron and then that's it <laughs> that's really all we need and Nicholas yeah and Tristan Tristan for the sieges but I'm starting to think that it might be uh, it's already seven we've got what three hours so we could after we get hollow fang full and iron if we came back and got tristan and then set up two gem stations we could probably get two th or three golems so so far the players that we would need to hit would be aloha nero uh, probably cheeks and his partner who we keep seeing with that little castle on top right would be a good target all right you bounce oh i forgot i took my uh I forgot I took my counter off. Dang, dude, I get so much health back. I get 25 health back on the Brute Crit. Good that would be so hard to trade melee with me right now. Uh, yeah, we definitely need Vincent in to get some blood. This is actually huge, man. Vincent's what, level 40? 
I don't remember, but he's pretty easy once you learn him. Oh, I'm doing poor on this fight at the moment. Always trade out. <laughs> Damn, dude, her ad is just getting literally infinite health right now. All right, I finally got it. Now we're good now. Uh, do you want to get the, all the blood roses? So that way we can make potions? Good call. Long fight, but I'm doing good. I'm at 100, so this brute blood is just absolutely wild. So good. Yeah, I won't actually be able to put you down into great health. It was when you should don't get comboed. I'll get. I'll start getting the side. This is huge, actually. The brute blood means. Uh, so we've got Plora. We've got Clive. Let me swap my dash. All right. Let me swap to uh, to Spectral Wolf here, over Chaos Volley. I think. Oh wait, you took it down. Oh yeah, she's dead. My bad. Um, my fault. I I wasn't even remotely paying attention. Uh, do you no, need Spectral Wolf? No, I was in range. Oh, okay, thank God. So, so Spectral Wolf and Corpse Explosion. I'm running two slows and two AoEs, and I think that's going to do good. I wonder, though, I've never really fully tested Spectral Wolf. Is that blockable with a shield? Or is it considered an AoE? Good question. I have no idea. All right, we got to get in some PvP while I have this. Uh, so now we're heading home. Why don't we check Grayson? I mean, or do we go uh, north to Dudley and on the way back we try for Vincent and or Christina? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, the 100% blood is damn wild right now. Just kind of looking around, the, uh, trying to find. You get? Yeah, the one that gives me all my healing back. Basically gives me like 40% healing on an attack. So if I use space bar as well, it gives me like 30 health. Pretty big. All right, we've got the blood roses. If we can find Christina or Vincent and pick them up on the way home or PVP, I think that would be ideal. All right, guys, this is the way that we want this to go. Now we're back on track. I was feeling a little bad about the death to Aloha and his partner. But honestly, we're doing fantastic. The fact that everything is at home cooking means we are on the way up and then we will have enough gear to contest anything in T2. So honestly, if we can take down Octavian and Leandra, as well as Vincent and Christina here in the next little bit, and then go back for Tristan, we'll probably be looking at getting some Siege Golems and also pressuring into Tier 3 Cursed Forest very quickly today. Honestly, at this rate, we'll be done tomorrow. We'll be in full silver like gear, ready to just siege tomorrow night and just try to zero players and pressure the uh, the shards tomorrow morning. I don't think anyone can get the shards in six hours. I could be wrong, though. You could if you're not um, contested. Contested anywhere by anything? I'm going to go down this yeah. road. You want to go north and go down the other road? We shouldn't split up. We shouldn't split. Good call out. 
<laughs> Straight scary movie. I'm gonna grab this like iron. I wanna like die. Like Wait, what? Attack level two? Ones. Oh, I don't have a merciless. I'll grab it then. Alright. Yeah, Arctic Leap is too good. Because it's an AoE, it stops them chasing, it stops them running, it covers the distance. The freeze lasts a really long time. I'm just glad that it cover more distance. I love Merciless Charge though. If you can actually get one or two and they're stunned, you can do a lot of damage while someone's stunned. Mm. But it just doesn't have the AoE and it's pretty easy to miss until yeah. you get Iron Slashers and can end cap. Uh, Isn't freeze the longest stun as well? Yeah, but you can unfreeze them by damaging them. Whereas the Quincy ult, you can do infinite amount of damage. I think freezing also gives them a small shield. So, I don't know, just a little theory crafting. There's a horse. I don't see anybody. Looks like players might have been here at some point. No. Yeah, me. <laughs> And I was doing a scourge run. Ooh, that would be big bad. All the cotton up here is gone. Coming east. Get the sulfur cooking, get the iron. Uh, well, the iron's already cooking, so we'll get that up and running. How much sulfur did you loot? Like, pure sulfur. I think we have, like, on me, I've got a thousand. At base, I think we have another thousand plus. Wow, we have, yeah, we've had, let's, uh, these top ones will do sulfur and the bottom ones will do iron. low on iron as well. Uh, it's definitely a good thing we knew we made all these furnaces, man. True. Okay, we've got so much. Alright, the looms uh, so popped off. You need full hollow fang? I only need Oh yeah, I gave the set to you. So yeah. Alright. After that, I'm going to take okay, a small yeah. break and, uh... Yeah, I need to take a little break. Yeah. I'm going to put... No. Um... see chest. All right, the full sets are being produced right now for both of us. We'll have uh, two Hall of Fame full sets. How's the iron looking? We have 58, 66. That is both weapons. Yep. We legit just need the sulfur. All right, so a little break. Everything finishes crafting. We got sulfur cooking. We got more uh, more cotton yarn coming up. We've got all the iron that is fully coming up to level forty-five, and then we get Leandra, so we can get our necklace. Uh, Nikolaus, Leandra, Christina, Vincent, Octavian, and we're done with T two. So this is very very good. All right, I'll be back in a few, man. Uh, but yeah, your your set is in here uh, whenever you're ready, yep. or it will be. <laughs> all right, see you in a minute. See ya. All right, guys. We have done a phenomenal job at this point. I took a back-to-back -back PvP loss, so it had me feeling a little bit bad, mostly because I was unable to contest the Aloha situation. But um, the one brain cell, absolutely right, keeping us motivated and forward-thinking because we have everything that we need cooking and ready to go, and that was a borrowed set off of our previous win. So the hardcore life cycle is pretty easy turnover right now. It's pretty quick with this 3x. 
I don't think that we're going to be able to get a ton of siege golems tonight like I initially expected, simply because we have to kill Tristan to get the greater blood. So we're a little bit off on that one. You probably could have farmed it by just farming, um, you know, Grayson or some other boss that has a high chance of dropping on Sullied Hearts because we're already only six off at the moment. And if I take a look at my inventory as well, um, we have actually quite a few more. So we could possibly get there without doing Tristan, but it would be very close. And we would for sure need all this stuff down. Greater blood, so that's two more, we'd be at eight. Yeah, we're pretty close, but we're not quite there. But what time is it? It's seven. So we've got three hours left in the tournament. It likely would only take us an hour. After all, we get all this gear to get Tristan dead and then all the blood turned in. So I think we will have, actually, we could still have a lot. Really depends how many bricks we can churn out. That's already enough for one. And then we would probably have to make one or two more blood presses if we really wanted to um, increase the situation and help ourselves. But I don't know. What, what's everyone thinking, chat? <laughs> How are you guys feeling? Can we actually manage to do that? I'm probably going to go ahead and research all of this stuff as well and maybe move myself up to uh, the Merciless Copper Mace. Although we are about to have iron, it would be nice to have that on standby in case we take another death. All right, level 39, and the iron weapon is going to be plus 6. That is going to be 45, and after Leandra, we can easily get out of this and up into a 15, so that'll be another 6. So we'll be actually on the way up to 52, well within range of the majority of the T2 bosses. We're feeling good, and we're making some big plays. Patam Palu asks, is it actually possible to stream commentary and as an admin? Since people can stream hack, you would have to be on a delay like we are today. This is a 10-minute delay. So I can't respond perfectly to everyone in chat, but I do see your comments instantly and am reacting to them. So thank you for the big shout outs and for trying to keep us on track. I always appreciate the hints, tips, and tricks as we make our way forward in this duo's tournament. I'm going to take a very short break and grab a quick bite to eat, and we'll be back with one more giveaway and let you guys know the roster of players and teams and see what people are up to. So I'll see you in just a moment.
All right, guys, we are back. I needed a break, to be honest. I feel like, what time is it? We've already been playing for four hours, almost. Straight through, barely taking any breaks. I gotta lean back. I've got a haagen -Dazs almond chocolate and vanilla ice cream bar with hazelnuts sprinkled in the middle. Madness. And it is so good. Madness and stupid. It is absolutely delicious. Shin Senkai 9, thank you for that big follow and welcome to Midnight Nation and the Eclipse $500 Duos Cash Cup. It is merciless out here. Gear sets being taken and lost at a moment's notice. It is getting wild, but now we're coming up and into full hollow fang and iron. This is going to change everything. The fights are going to last a lot longer. You're going to have people moving around. We're going to have stealth. Adding the second ability on there. The team earlier actually had a, uh, Merciless Iron Axes, right? Since they were able to use the E ability to kill me. So they were ahead of us, but now we are back and on top and hanging out. And we're going to be diving onto a couple bosses, trying to kill Tristan and then build some siege golems so we can actually drop a siege or two tonight. So I'm going to go ahead and draw the next winner and we'll be doing another one as well after our first siege. So hang out, stick around, and it's been a pleasure streaming so far and getting into some crazy fights, especially over there at Quincy. I'm so lucky that we got that. That could have been a huge loss, but here we go. We're going to go ahead and draw the next entrance, and that is going to be Vandal P. Vandal, you have won. Congratulations. And now I'm going to get some Iron Slashers going. And we're going to be trying to catch up to that first place team. I'd say Aloha is looking to be in first place since they already had Iron Weapons and at least partial Hollow Fang. But we're not that far behind, and this 100% Brute Blood is going to do work right now, as long as other teams don't have their 100%. We are going to be looking for 100% Rogue, and we already know where 100% Worker is, so hopefully nobody went and got that. And now we're going to be mostly hunting for PvP, as well as bosses. Clearing the first hurdle of Tier 1 is always a challenge in the tournament setting when you have a lot of players and a lot of people consistently PvPing. But now that we have Iron, it is going to be a bloodbath especially as we head to Octavian and the Cursed Forest. So I'm going to take a very short break to finish eating this ice cream. And then we're going to talk about the teams that are out and about here that we've seen in past tournaments coming up. And then we're going to be hopefully fighting the rats so we can try to uh, maybe rat Octavian here in a little while and see if we can't catch a, play a couple players off, especially in duos. We could probably rat at two different bosses and then just wait and um, then maybe if we're very lucky we might be able to go for a shard boss tonight but since we're choosing to siege it's probably not going to be a shard kind of night but uh, we'll be going for the eye of twilight and taking a look at it around at some of the most powerful teams in the map and trying to find a little scrap i'll be back in just a few
Oh my god, that ice cream is so good. Fried Gold, thank you for that massive tier 1 subscription, you literal legend. You guys are supporting this stream and this community series, and I seriously appreciate it. We're going to be doing a Merciless Solos likely in the future as well. Not sure how much that's going to be for. We're going to wait to see what kind of donations we can come up with as we press forward. But this is about to be a putrid rat kill for us as well. Thankfully, we do have our iron weapons now. So this is a big come up. And we're about to have a huge fight here. So I'm going to rejoin my teammate in just a moment. I think we're going to skip talking about the teams for Man, now. Just know that there's a Man, lot of teams here that have won in the past, including Nero and Lucy. And we've seen just tons of familiar names and faces. We also have a couple admin teams out roaming. They just let me know they did have to ban three players so far for racism. So please, guys, be careful and keep the toxicity to a minimum. We're out here having fun. Everyone's competing and on the hustle. So we're just living the dream. And here we go. All right, are you ready for Putrid Rat, brother? Yeah. All right, Putrid Rat, Inc. All right, what's going on here? Why can't... Uh... Oh, good. Good call out. Um, I think we gotta pick these up. What are we missing? Oh, we need fish bones. Fish bones shipping in here. Oh, back here. So now we do uh, Nikolaus and Tristan, yeah? And then we go for a Siege Golem? Yeah. Ah. And if. Did you find it? Find what? The fish bones. Um, I don't have them. What we can do is we can just take some of the fish we already have and uh, burn them down. No, we've got 12 somewhere. What? Maybe an alchemy? Yeah, here they are. Alright, here we go. Putrid rat. Um, I mean, we have so many Twilight Snappers, we might as well burn five of these. Or we could save them to build the vermin. That is correct. Vermin. We do want to save those. That is a really good call out. Almost threw those away. Fantastic job. All right. Uh, yeah. So definitely keeping those. Yeah. The the putrid rats, the banshees, the servants. This would be legendary. So we're at 729, man. So we gotta we gotta get this thing up and running. We gotta kill uh, Nikolaus and Tristan. Oops. Did they make him smaller? He looks way smaller. Oh. Uh. Wait, was that a, was that not a wait? Why is it making giant rats? Ah. Oh. There was grass in there. Oh, grass! I was like, wow, he looks so tiny now. He was he was lagging the server. They made the the model smaller. Feels good, man. So we got to get a little bit more iron so we can have backup yeah. weapons. But overall, we're doing phenomenal. Fried, thank you so much. I appreciate your support and love, as always. This is so easy at this gear level. Just demolishing. Yeah. I saw that struggle that you went through. I have struggled on Putrid Rat a lot of times in my life. I'm not going to lie. It's because in solos, I feel like it's so important. I forgot I had Brute Blood, man. I'm just literally trading left clicks with him, standing still. Jeez, you're at full health again. Yeah, this is the time we need to be fighting bosses for sure. And players, if we could. So after this, we I think we just teleport straight down and go for Nikolaus. Yeah. I mean, I don't know though. He gives unsullied hearts. We can, we almost have enough for our uh, our first golem, to be honest. 
Let's uh, let's just go. It's in there like 40 though. I mean 14. Yeah, we have 10 I think, or maybe even 12. Let's uh, yeah, I'm gonna drop some grass. Then we need some castle upgrade, then um, rings, and we just need it in general, to be honest. Yeah. Alright, let's roll out. It's time to battle. Do you have your 2 2 cloak? Yeah. Okay. I've and got a little. I also got Vincent Tracking. Back. Be I hear Beatrice. Oh, okay. God, this base is so legendary. Wow, this is my new favorite base. They're, st they're still in here. They've, I mean, it's been ringing for a while. Yep, they're up here fighting. They're on me. Hold on, hold on. I'm just yeah, I'm pulling off. They're chasing. Uh, I missed everything. I'm so bad. I'm getting fucking demolished right now. I'm so bad. I'm gonna pull off toward the back of base. Yeah, I'm coming. Oh, they got me. I'm gonna pop my ult as soon as I think I can get both. Come back toward me. I gotta heal. Just keep healing. I'm gonna put ult. Uh, Putting stuff down here. Keep peeling backward. Now we should push. Yeah. He he out froze me there somehow. I'm in trouble, bad. Let's uh, let's go. Let's go if we can. Yeah, yeah. I need you to block for me, I'm dead. Oh, oh no. Oh no, I should have waited a little bit more for you to come. You gotta run if you can. If you can get back to base or maybe even go through. Yeah, they're taking my loot. Uh, we'll just trade one there. Dang, we had loot flow too. Here comes another team. This actually could save us. Uh, he's running right past them. He's coming back. Okay, yeah. they also have iron. It's a 2v2 right now in the back. All right, I'm gonna heal up quickly then. You could gear up. Oh, they not, okay, they're fighting loot. Yeah, um, the other team doesn't have ults. It would be so easy for them to fight this. Okay, they wasted their full. So I think they're gonna lose here. I might just come naked as a rat. Um, okay, just hang out. There's your uh, keep them between you. They're pushing. Yeah. Oh, fall back a little yeah. bit. Fall back a little bit. Kill those mobs behind you and then push forward. Yeah, they're they're carrying on the fight now. All right, we need this. I'm gonna gear up super quick and then we push back in there. Uh, I missed with my old, that fucked us. Alright, I'm ink, go ahead and push. Hold on, let me just heal back to full. Alright. I'm behind you, I'm here. The other team's over here. They're loose slow, loose slow on me. Where are you? I'm, I'm on the backside. I'm just oh. kind of hanging out. I'm now pushing forward. Are you fighting another team? Okay, okay. Let's yeah, keep them between us. This, this other team's running. I got him with wolf snare. I got both with wolf snare. Okay, cool. They're, they're both running away in wolf form. Oh, we need this. Do we fight the other team? Let's turn around. Let's turn around. Let's fight the other team. Damn. Again, I didn't oh, wait they're, for. They're, they're here. They're on me. Okay, I'm coming. Come back toward me. Come, uh, come north. Wait, he's running in wolf form. Uh, try to kill him then. Cosmo's right behind him. Come back toward me. They're between us. They're between us. Get ready to knock him out of wolf form. They're there. Yeah. Oh, he got me from behind. 
I have my ult as soon as the as soon as I I'm I'm ulting. I kind of screwed my ult up. Uh, just push Cosmo. Just push Cosmo. Watch out from behind you. Uh... Oh, I might die. All right, then pull off, pull off, pull off. Yeah. Pull off. Okay, I'm I'm wolf staring. Just keep running. No worries about me. I have crap gear on. I'm dead here, no worries. Ah, dude, I'm so bad with Arctic Leap. I'm just pre-casting it. It's both times I hit nobody with my with my ult there. I think I need to uh I need to change back. Just go ahead and run home. Yeah. They're chasing you in wolf. Yep, and there's a horse coming up. Shit. Okay, knock them off. Oh. Is it a different team on you? No, it's the same. Oh, I'm nearly back at base. Oh, they got me just outside. Fuck. Ugh. I don't know how they got you. I had both on me forever. Yeah, cause what do you call it? I went to jump on a horse. The horse moved backwards into mobs and I had to jump off it. And they were able to catch up after that. Ah, uh, damn. That, that's actually all our hollow fang and all our irons. <laughs> we don't have iron weapons. That was actually a massive loss. Absolutely massive. Damn, to be honest, we didn't want PvP there. We wanted Tristan. Um, yeah, that was Lucy's team. <sighs> Who was the other team? Which team just beat us? I have no idea. I didn't even catch their names. That's crazy that Arctic Leap out Arctic Leap's Arctic Leap. So I Arctic Leaped and then he Arctic Leaped on top of me and he didn't get frozen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty much a game of chicken. Hmm. I didn't realize that Arctic Leap saved you. Damn, I should've went for slashers instead of uh, axes. Uh, ouch. Massive, massive loss. It's all good. I think we could, it's iron that we need, right? Mm hmm. Yeah, so it's not even a bad loss. How much, oh, uh, stuff. how much cotton do we have? Uh, how 40, much yarn? Sorry. Enough 40, for 100. 8, 16, so we need 32 for a set. Ah, man, that's actually a big loss. Ouch. Um, hmm. So good is not too much. It set us back, what, like 15 minutes? No, way more than that. Now we need uh, iron and we need cotton. Well, we already got the cotton. We do have the cotton. Um, okay, so we just need the iron, which I guess that's not that's too bad. bad. Um, really, we only need one of us to have the set to solo like 1v1 Tristan or something. Dang, we got devastated there. Fuck. Both times I missed my ult. Still good. Oh, we have enough for iron weapon. See? One of us could be fully geared back in. Alright, then you fully gear and then we'll use that to fight the boss. Because I really want to get the siege golems down. I think that's the most important part. Great. I just didn't catch what the second team's name was, but we should probably siege that team or, or the other team. Either team that we lost to there, both will, we now know will have iron and cotton at the least. And we'll need iron to counterplay it.
Um, we probably need to get castle walls down as well. Yeah, we could. It would just it would cost a lot though. It would cost us our siege golem. So is it worth it? No, I think we should. I, mean, I think we should go for the siege golem instead. Yeah. Hmm. That was a. All right. Um. So we have enough dust. We almost have enough hearts. You're fully geared. Let me grab a uh, a little bit of night fang. Or uh, do you already have your full set? No, I haven't crafted any yet. Okay. Then I'll at least get that crafting. I'm starting two of them. Dang, I was impatient. He knocked me off the horse. I mean, we nearly got them. They had to... And the other team joining as well didn't help too much. I can get half a hollow thing set at the moment. See, it's not even too bad, it's just a weapon. Um, Nicholas. I think I need to go for slashers, because we need the guaranteed in caps for the ults. Yeah, you, you know what, you gear up. I so you want the slashers? Yeah, I'll take slashers. I mean, your mace and caps as well, but uh, I don't know. I mean, your mace could incap both, so we could technically get both on the old, but we would need that call out. We need to start calling out when we incap, so we can both old instead of just like randomly using our ults. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just not used to fighting as a <laughs> duo. No, neither am I. I'm 100% not. I mean, even in solos, I'm not super great with my old, so. I wonder how come these fat gobies won't stack on top of each other. Oh, is it? You can only five stack. Gotcha. Yeah, five. All right, so Iron Slash is coming up. A full set of Merciless coming up. Um, I've got your, your set down here, then, if you need. Uh, oh, wait. What set do you have right now? Because you're already a skull. Just um, Night Stalkers. Okay. See, that was a big kill on those guys for the 2,000 cotton, though, because that gave us plenty of room to make new sets. Mm. It's just, you know, it sucks losing a set that you just crafted. <laughs> yeah. But it's all good. And on top of base, I was hoping we could, like, pick one of those. I mean, because they both fought for a long time, and then they both pulled off to heal. Yeah, that's the thing. We need um, better necklaces. Because they mm -hmm. have movement speed, necklaces, and probably, what, two-piece? Alright, um, we need Tristan for the siege, so let's go Nikolaus and Tristan straight away. Ah, the Beatrice yeah. would have been so big. I wonder why they were even there, because they were already 45. Probably just farming. So what am I waiting for? Uh, cotton, right? I don't know about not having a counter. It seems challenging to me. I do like the wolf snare though. And it reduces how much damage they do by 30%, which is pretty big. And since it's bouncing back and forth, we can usually hit them a lot. The only reason I don't like going crit is hitting someone with it. I mean, when it's a duo, you can usually get one, and then it's like definitely going to bounce between them. All right, so we are pretty much ready to go now. I'll put the old gear away. Do you already have bottom and top? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll have the... You, you grab the pants, and the, the top is coming, so you'll at least have two parts of the set. I'll come and get another one. 
Wolford. I know we've got tons of that. So we'll have to siege. I'm gonna go get iron, I guess, while I wait for all this to finish. Um, how much do we need for a weapon? 15, so that's, that's like 20. 400. So that's two nodes, two nodes per weapon. Oh, 20, that's 400, yeah, that's two nodes, easy. Do you already have boots? No, no, I'm gonna have to wear those boots though. Okay, there's boots in here. We need the just... we need potions, so we gotta kill Christina. Damn. You're thinking way too ahead. I know, I'm trying to like keep myself like motivated though, because that was a big ass loss, so I'm trying to like, just think ahead and see what we need to hit. <laughs> oh slashers for farming is toxic. Hey, Fried, I appreciate you, man. Chat, thank you guys for staying positive as well. It's all good, man. Chat, we got this. Chat, we got this. We got this. Uh, we're just going to siege one of those two teams, although I can't. I don't remember a single name of the second team that killed us. I just remember Aloha I think and. It was uh, like. Byron? Be something? Let me see what time it is. It's already 8, so we've got two hours. Nicholas, Tristan, Golem. Honestly, two golems, so we need iron for the golem makers as well. Can you make a merciless copper weapon in case we run into iron? I already have it. The okay. Axe. Yeah, big. Still haven't lost that. Okay. We might need to go iron mine, to be honest. Yeah, we both could hit it up right now. Um, I mean, we can't make the golem maker without 12 iron. Do we have 12? Oh no, we use. So. Alright, well, while we have this gear, let's get Tristan and Nikolaus, and then we'll go Iron Mine. Yeah. Man, that ice cream is so good. So you got ice cream to cheer you up. So ice cream was amazing. <laughs> Alright, got some copper as well. Tons of sulfur coming out, so we'll have plenty of bombs for the siege, too. Uh, your, your chest piece is in here. And then I'm ready to roll. Isn't there a spare cape somewhere? Mm, I lost at least one so far, probably two. Uh, I'll just make the lower tier ones. I'm gonna wait for you on the backside. Salves. Mm -hmm. Why is your gear for so low? He has a horse as well. Uh, I don't have a ring. Uh, actually, it's going to be hard to fight Tristan. Yeah, go and grab a ring. <laughs> um, good call out. I didn't even notice. I've been up too long. I don't want to hear that from you. <laughs> True. What time is it there for you now? 4 a.m.? I think so. Madness. Madness and stupidity all the way across the board. You know, we did say we're going to ape, and we have been doing that. So. We have been getting a lot of fights. We need the alchemy lab as well, so we can start making frosty potions, which we got as a drop. Do you still need a cloak? No, I'll go one, I'll go one. All right. All right, so teleport to Nikolaus, yeah? Mm -hmm. Do you have Vincent um, Vince tracking? I don't, but let's go for, do you have Tristan tracking? No, I'll go, I was meant to say Tristan, Vincent tracking. <laughs> um, that's right, we'll just ride around till we find him.
Oh, he has a pretty wide path though, doesn't he, Tristan? Mm -hmm. He can go from bandit camper all the way. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. actually very far. That's alright, we'll probably get some PvP. We'll go Nikolaus and then we'll just see what we see. So let's go uh, let's go to Grayson and then we'll come east. No, my hundred percent brute. Oh rip. Yeah, we need copper as well for servants. Should we stop at copper mine? No, 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 no. I, I think we could leave that for now. All the monsters are dead. Actually, might be players in here. <laughs> I gotta get a win. There's no one in here. We'll, uh, we'll leave it for now. Can we do it? All right, oh. graveyard. Man, my, this horse is fast though, a 10-6. Find Tristan in no time. Who needs to track him? God, God damn, I'm seeing so many copper orbs. Nicholas should be very easy. Tag out. Oh, in a second, probably. Let me heal real quick. Actually, I'll be fine if I can get this heal off. And I need to trade out. Uh, Ready? Yeah. All right. Okay. The frail blood is trying to put in work. Idiocracy pop it off. It is iron mine time, man. Iron mine time. Maybe cotton again as a backup. That was a massive, massive loss there of our, our two iron sets and our hollow thing. But um, if we can get Nikolaus and Tristan here and can come back with a siege to end the evening, then I think we'll have a very, very delicious little come up. It's all going to depend if we can win the siege. Oh, what's he at? I, I dropped down. How far did you drop down? Pretty far. <laughs> Is that you running up? Yep, I'm here again. Oh. We just try to finish him here, eh? Yeah, 
in this shit. This is a little bit of a fight, ain't it? Yeah, because the skeleton mage and everything. Oh, did I bring that up here? Nice. I thought I'd make it a little bit more challenging for us. <laughs> Alright, drinking him. Alright, bigly, bigly, bigly. Alright, um. Do we just, I think we just hunt down Tristan, right? Even if we have to, I don't know, I don't want to separate. I think that would make it faster, but it probably wouldn't be worth it if we got caught out. No, it's not worth it. We just lost the iron set. <laughs> the uh, I always take the mentality once I've lost my best set, I'm like, it doesn't matter anymore. And I just start taking every fight. I do whatever I need doing. Fight everybody. And then you're all back at Back at square one, scrum, you know, fighting over Farbane slums. I'm just a, sums, a slums player, that's what it comes down to. <laughs> Alright, um, what should we try first, east? Mm, I honestly don't. Anywhere. I gotta grab a little bit of blood from uh, the Quincy's Gate. Quincy's open as well, so you've got players just all over the map still. I mean, honestly, we're a couple unsullied hearts away, too. Of course, Tristan would be the best case scenario, though. Um, hmm. Dang, we need to catch some iron players off. Yeah, that'll be really huge. He can be all the way up here, right? And then we can drop down toward a uh, trapper. So we'll just make a circuit of it all. I see a couple wood bases still. There's Jinx's wood base. Yeah, that's, you know, there's still a lot of wood players. Uh, the admin team told me they're, they're out sieging right now. They got a bunch of explosives from an early Clive kill and they're just looking for wood bases to devastate. Here's another wood base. That's that first team. That's Clap. Let me see what they have. Yeah. Oh, that might they have Nicholas. They have what? They've done Nicholas. Ah, oh, but their main base is done. Yeah, but if we have a golem, a uh, player on me, level 17 and 8, I think I'm just going to let them leave. Yeah. It's pretty low. Wait, where are you? I'm down here running west. A level 41 on me. Oh no. A classic separation. I'm just around the corner. They're both on me as well. I'm probably dead here, brother. Oh, this is the people that got us. Oh, let's, I'm gonna run. See if we can run away here. Getting killed by the sun. No way, did I just get in capped? That's crazy. Uh, shit. I'm running. I He's found Tristan. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, run, 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 run. So I'm running. I'm running oh, his back on a horse though. I should turn into a rat. Oh yeah.
I'm actually beating mine in a 1v1 at the moment, but just barely. I'm going to turn into a rat. Good escape. Yeah, they're, they're the ones that close Mars. Yeah, that was when we, I was under geared. Good, uh, good escape, though, and good fight. I think if we were both full and together, that would be a very good fight for us to take. I don't know if they have high and I don't. True, true, but uh, dang, I actually should have pursued that one. I was winning, I was beating him out in the 1v1. Just be careful, because they're both going to be together now. Yeah. I'm going to heal. Uh, let's come back together. I, I don't know, we might, yeah, the iron, that is a big problem. We should just go iron mine now, to be honest. Yeah, let's go iron mine. Oh, shit, did they really just find I knocked him off the horse. I'm coming. No, it's all good, it's all good. You well, I don't know if we can both take it. You have half the hollow fang, though. Are they both together? I just saw only one. Yeah, um, both together. I'm here if you can just survive for a little bit. Come toward me at Keeley. Come east instead of west. I'm coming. Coming from the north side. Okay, I'll freeze them both. Good freeze. I hit him. Uh, I hit him once. Honestly, I don't know. We we could possibly take this. Yeah. Try to keep kiting and come back to me when you can. They're both coming toward you still. Yeah, it's all good. I'm here with you. Okay, heal, heal, heal. Oh, here comes okay. the other one. Care. The other one's behind you on your back. Missed my stun. I'm gonna try to pull off here. They got me there, I should have pushed Q. I'm in trouble, but I'm gonna try to run still. Oh, the fucking tree hit me. I'm coming back toward you. Yeah, come. You got me with Chaos Volley here. Oh, you're so low. We, we definitely, I yeah. can't, we, we don't want to lose this. I'm just gonna run. Yeah, run. See if you can get away as well, per chance. Yeah. Dang, if I could full heal, then maybe we can come back and finish the fight, but... And we can't, uh, we keep even the smallest amount of distance between us. I'm full healing. How much health do they have? Is it possible uh, to win this? I'm in an ult here. Oh, no, I, sh I should have just kept running then. Uh, now I'm in trouble. I'm in big trouble. And I gave them the horse. Damn, we're just not playing right. No way did he hit me with that, dude. I'm dead. <laughs> and I'm in a corner, a classic. Uh, I don't know why I didn't just run. I don't even know why I tried to come back. Yeah, you should just. Man, go. the distance between us was so minimal, and they still got us. Or they, they still, like, if you're even slightly away from your partner and they both jump on top of you you just can't win anymore i think we could have easily beat them if we were together yeah i don't know about easily because well no it would have been a good fight though but and we got we got easily both of them to half um but you were already low and then earlier we got them to half but i was already low Damn, you just gotta be right on top of your partner. It's so challenging. Ouch! That was the iron and the merciless. We really needed to go iron mine. We, we never should have left face without two iron weapons. Son of a bitch. <laughs> the scraps, man. The absolute scraps right now. Jesus. 12, 24, 36. We probably still have enough for a full hollow thing, but man. Damn, every other team is playing directly on top of each other. 
They're, they're yeah, doing, they're need. doing like gods. Yeah. yeah. There was such a small space there, but it was more than enough. Ah. <laughs> Do you have free copper? That is painful, man. Um, I don't have anything. I'm literally naked right now. Okay, cool. This. So we could at least make an axe. Oh, wait, no, we got... Damn, I wanted to siege so bad, but I don't think we're going to have time to siege anymore. I definitely don't think we can siege. There's no way. Um, alright. I'll be right back. Alright, guys, that was a devastating loss multiple times in a row. Mostly because I've been playing bad. Almost every single loss can be attributed to the fact that I'm too far away from one brain. You can really feel the the lack of game knowledge and skill in my duos play compared to solos. Where in solos I can push every fight, I'm very confident in winning consistently. But here I, I keep getting caught off just slightly away from one brain, right? Earlier um, at the first time we lost the iron fight, I pushed into dawn break and he was still in base. So I was at half health by the time we engaged and then I ended up losing. Uh, the next fight, uh, uh, we were like a bit separated one brain was here and started dying by the time i joined to fight the other team cosmo uh, and then we both died and then down here you know i'm just barely off of of brain right we were we were right here and then he barely managed we barely managed to both get away even though we got both players to half we just could not win that engage and then instead of hiding in rat form um and waiting a while they found him and then i tried to get down to him but he was already low health um and it just we're, we're all over the place unable to stay consistent and a lot of the fights are my fault because if i just wait for him but uh, it's just challenging for me it's very challenging in a duo if your horse speeds are different or if you're kind of searching around to actually find an equidistance to stay together and catch people off but definitely getting the one player with both of your abilities, getting them in an early ult, anything like that is going to bring that player to their knees and it's going to be very hard to compete after that. We've had a very small amount of actual two versus twos without one of us getting low early. So I'm just misplaying and uh, I was invited to a bonfire tonight and I was going to skip it to siege. But since we actually cannot get sieges down today, um, we misplayed here at the end and we lost a lot of sets multiple times in a row so i'm going to call this a night and we're going to go to the bonfire and we'll be back tomorrow at 10 a.m pacific for day two of the tournament where hopefully brain and i can get on the same level crossing my fingers right now and pull through this and stay consistent we need a bit of spot of iron and a little bit more cotton and then we will be on the way tomorrow to right back where we were um, we just lost a bit of time in a couple sets today. So if with that, guys, I'm going to go ahead and host one of the other players. I'm going to take a look at the uh, the V Rising streams, but it does look like Lucy has been devastating us. So we'll probably be hosting Lucy. But thank you all for joining us today, and we will catch you on the next stream, which is tomorrow. And we'll be coming up in day two, hopefully making our way to Cursed Forest and then Silverlight. I was talking about getting shards earlier, but yikes, man. We didn't even get uh, any of the T2 bosses. So too much PvP, but mostly too many losses. All right, let's see. Who do we have? So we've got Lucy, rank one North America and tryhard Scorpio out here. Absolutely pop it off. Let's take a look at what Scorpio is doing. First time doing with Flo, hanging out, living the dream. Let's see what Scorpio has got going on. I've got to watch the ads. Get out of here, man. So we'll see whoever's further is probably who we're going to go ahead and support and host and give a little raid to. But thank you all for tuning in. The subs, the follows, the likes, the love, and of course, the criticism is always appreciated and respected. So thank you guys for joining us. This video will be on YouTube. I'll have to take a look at how we can play better. So used to solos. So solo strange. 
All right, so they've got a lot of good equipment. They are level 33, and they're on their way up to Hollow Fang as well, but they're hanging out and living the dream. So I'm going to go ahead and pop off with a little host for my main man, Tryhard Scorpio. Or maybe we'll uh, we'll raid Tryhard and then we'll host Lucy. I don't I don't really know the difference, but uh, here we go, guys. Thank you for tuning in, and I will see you on the morrow. Oh, you know what, guys? My bad. That was too early. <laughs>